なんで。Good morning, guys. How are we doing? I'm still eating lunch. How are we doing? Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Annie Nish. Good morning, Lars Harmer. Hello, Doomsday. Thank you very much, Doomsday. Thank you. Darkro, how are we doing, Pooh? Good morning. We're not sponsored today. We're not sponsored. I just wanted to wear it. <laughs> hey, Nico. Guess who is in a boring ass lecture、mm. and hungry, even though he already ate his lunch and who might get a cold but isn't sure yet and therefore drinking a lot of tea so he has to go pee now? Who? <laughs> um. Hmm. Let me have a thing. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say you. I'm gonna really go out on a limb here and say you. I'm, uh, I could be, I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna really go out on a limb and say you. Nico, thank you so much for 31 months. Thank you very, very much. Holy shit. Thank you so much. It feels like it was only 30 months last week. Was it not? It feels like it literally just been a week. Hey, Grizzle, how you doing? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, the noodles told me. The noodles told me. They whispered to me. They were like, it's Nico. It's Nico. Answer. <laughs> I am still eating my lunch. <laughs> I've been a bit. I've been a bit depresso today. So I'm a little bit. um, I'm a little bit late. A little bit late getting ready. And、um, why? Hmm.、Um, time flies when you live in that panda lifestyle. I don't know, right? I、um, I've been watching Deep Space Nine. I've just started season six now as well. Show us your nudes.、Some、beautiful nudes. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Oh! Get that good nude jiggle content. <laughs> it does look quirky and cute. I'm really excited to play it. <laughs> Thank you guys, thank you. Oh, you were the same one, Dark Crow. Do we match? We match.、Uh, oh, I'm looking forward to playing Pass Lights. Hello, Dunkey.、Uh, I'm really nice for you today. I'm sorry. I mean, you forgot your snacks. I know. Terrible. Oh, sorry. Terrible. Whatever will you do with no snacks? Hmm. Looking cozy. Thank you, Digits. How are you doing today? I <laughs> didn't mean to highlight that. <laughs> They're not for you. You can smell. But you can't have. I'm trying to teach her the smell command that she can smell, but she can't have. You know, because sometimes she's just curious. Sometimes she just wants to smell what, you know, whatever I'm eating or whatever I've got in my hand or something, and that's fine. She can smell, but she can't. <laughs> What did she do? What are you doing? <laughs> you happy? Okay, we're happy. We're happy now. Hold it. There we go. Hey, Hubble. Good morning. No phone. Weird. How old is your phone now? <laughs> It's the worst. Third sub baby. Oh wow!、Beat. You get to name her. Get to name her. Oh. Can we? Can we just go with Noodle? Can we go? I feel like it's very apt with what I'm eating. Can we just go? With, I feel, you know, I've been inspired by the moods. Been inspired. Much the worst. Thank you so much. I don't know why I just took a bite before I started speaking. This <laughs> was. <laughs> Thank you so much for 27 months. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for 27 months. How's your Monday feeling, Mr. West? <laughs> oh, dog. Dog, no, don't you even don't you even think about it. Don't you be careful. You make sure that you're looking after yourself. Make sure you're taking it easy as well. Take it, take it absolutely easy. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. I'm always happy to see you, Darth. Don't you don't you even worry at all. Hey blood, good morning. Oh, it's about two years, okay. It's crazy that I literally I think Oh, I say so. It's two years. Okay, time for a new one. It shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't think, okay, that you know, two years is up. I need a new phone. You know, ah, oh, two, yeah, two years, pretty old, pretty old. Can I get a big flop pad hoodie? Well, you can go to uh, go to Udi. This is a this is an Udi, and you can use code Captain Bashatil at checkout. Um, for <laughs> some money off. Uh, not sponsored today, but have been, and my code does still work, so you can uh. Um, <laughs> go ahead and use it and uh, Udi will be very happy with me <laughs> sending you over but they are very comfortable I do wear mine all the time off stream how is my car? well I don't have it back yet so um, I'll give you my car update uh, so I took it to the garage I managed to get it to the garage the journey to the garage was pretty funny so we went out to jump the car uh, pretty like, fairly early in the morning for me to go drive it there and um we spent 40 minutes trying to jump the car and it wouldn't it wouldn't jump it wouldn't go the uh the dials on the dash were going like this <laughs> we're going round and round and the lights were flashing it was like a kind of christmas like christmas lights it was nice um i said to greg that the car was giving me a bit of a christmas show and there's some white fluffy mold on side and i said you know it's like nice little snow christmas lights it's lovely um absolutely delightful so I, <laughs> so we go back inside and we're like, oh dang, all right. So we charge up the, we charge up the thing that we're using to jump start it. And we're like, okay, we've got one more chance. We've got one more chance to jump it after it charges up a little bit. And um, if it doesn't work, can't take it. So a couple of hours pass while it's charging. We go back out. Uh, what I'm having to do now is time it. I have a one second window between the car being like, you know, jumped and me being able to turn the key in the car turning on. Uh, so previously we'd got absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. And then when I started, it was like a quick time event. When I started timing it right, we would get <laughs> So we knew we were kind of on the right track. So I had this one, I had a tiny one second window to get the quick time event in, turn my car on, so that it would, uh, so we could start it up and take it to the, uh, take it to the garage. So I, okay, I'm like, Greg, right. You jump it, I turn. So I'm watching the lights in the car, because when the, when the hazard lights turned on, that meant that it had been zapped. So I'm watching the hazard lights. Hazard lights, come on. I turn the key. And it starts up. Fantastic. Great. Really good. Very happy. I'm a little, honestly, I didn't want to go. So I'm a little bit like, oh, fuck. Now I actually have to go take it to the garage. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's better that it gets to the garage. So I, you know, start driving away. And I stole it. <laughs> I start driving away, and I stole it. Which means the engine turns off. Because <laughs> of course I stole it. Because I'm nervous. I'm I'm nervous. Um, because I'm like, don't stole it, badge. Don't stole it, badge. Don't stole it. Because I know if I stole it, I fuck everything up. And I, I'm no, I'm really nervous. So I I do stole it. And uh, luckily, Greg was still standing on, standing, you know, watching me go. And he has to run out into the middle of the road. <laughs> There's all the traffic there. And I like... <laughs> fucking jump it. And we, we do it. We do it. We, we, jump, we jump it back to life. And um, we go. <laughs> we go. I, I'm going. Um, I've taken the jumper cables with me. But the entire... 
drive to the garage, I'm like, don't stall it, don't stall it, don't stall it. Because it's one thing stalling it relatively close to home. And another thing to stall it, you know, in the middle of like a junction or a set of lights or a, a fucking roundabout or something. It's like, don't stall it, don't stall it, don't stall it. So it's like a, my knuckles are white. You know, I am holding onto the steering wheel. I'm so fucking anxious because I don't want to stall it. And uh, as I'm going, the car's st are being a bit strange. It's been a bit strange. You know, I'm just driving along and I the hazard lights keep turning on. I'm not turning them on. Hazard lights keep coming on. I'm driving along. Hazards keep coming on. But they're not coming on like, you know, like chuk, 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 chuk. They're coming on at odd intervals. So it'll, uh, you know, it the it's like chuk, 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 chuk. And they're, you know, going way too fast. And I'm I'm just going along with my fucking hazards on. You know, weirdly spread out. So, you know, manically on and then then off completely. And I can see the car that's behind me just slowly backing away from me. <laughs> like, just slowly being like, oh, I don't know what you're doing. And it's just like this, this crazed car journey where I'm, you know, it's like a white knuckle ride. I'm so anxious about stalling it. Um, so whenever I have to stop the car, you know, get into some traffic or get to a junction or something, I'm sat behind the person revving. Like, because I, I don't, I don't want to stall it. So I put more revs into the engine to make sure I don't stall it when I don't, when I take my foot off the clutch. So I'm there, this crazed lady behind them going <laughs> With my hazards going Like so, ugh. But I did get it to the, did get it to the garage So it's there, it's there Oh And I got a statement on car story No poop stories, I had a great shit today I had a great shit today <laughs> hey mattress, hey Miss Alley, how are you doing? Tow trucks are so expensive. They are so expensive. It's like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Anonymous. Thank you for gifting us up to Kachow. If Maida was around, I would hire Maida to tow my car away. He seems like he'd be a good value fellow. Yeah, it was a it was a journey. Yeah, it was it was I was so like move out of my way, get out of my way. It was awful. <laughs> it was awful and I must have looked very unhappy because you know I wasn't particularly happy. Um so I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't want to pay for a tow truck. They're really expensive. Like, our friends had to be towed. Like, a hundred meters, maybe? Maybe less? And it was a, it was a hundred and fifty pounds for them to get towed that far. So I was... I was like, no, thank you. Because <laughs> we'd already, we've already had to buy a locksmith to get into the car. Um, and I kind of, I, <laughs> I don't know how much we're gonna have to pay to Pay to get it fixed, and then um, also, so the the idea is that we pay to get this bit fixed, and then in probably in January or after Christmas, maybe we try and resolve some of the long-standing issues with it to prevent any further problems that we have. Welcome back, Miss Sally. Welcome back. Oh no, Greg doesn't have a car. It's just me. It's just me. How much have I spent at this point by buying a new car? Mm. So with just this break or like all the previous spends? Um, cause just with this, just with, with this issue, it's, it was, it has still been much cheaper than buying a new car. The total, I don't know. <laughs> I don't wanna know. See, the problem is, is when you buy a used car, I think that there's always going to be problems with it. So I did, uh, I did have a, I did break down and say I just want a new car. Rebs! You don't have anything to say to me, Rooks? You don't have anything to say? Twenty 
six months and you don't have anything to say? I can't believe this! <laughs> Mr. West, thank you so much for giving us some to Miss Allie! Miss Allie! Where are the weenies? Where are the weenies? Thank you very much, Mr. West! My sister's wearing her hoodie this <laughs> What design does she have, Rooks? On my phone at work, sneaking another peek. I'm peeping you. How are you enjoying work, Rooks? How are you enjoying it? And thank you so- I didn't even say thank you. Thank you very much for- <laughs> 26 months. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, second-hand, um... Second-hand cars in the UK have gone up a lot in price. Um, and our, our um... The logic is that if we buy a second-hand car, we're gonna have stuff to fix on said second-hand car. So it's not worth buying a new car. It's cheaper to fix this one. Because we buy a new car and then we have to spend money on it anyway. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Tomato without the toe. <laughs> so just a <laughs> How many toes is he missing? Oh, anonymous. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Oh, we're all matching it all panda hoodies. Darker has got panda on too. Yeah, I am. I am, Rex. I am. I am. I'm like, Greg, a tanner bike would be cheaper. <laughs> hey, Fog, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so that's what's happening with my car. <laughs> I don't think you're ever going to get a perfect car unless you buy one brand new off the, off the, off the full court, right? Yeah, cheapest option is just never leave the house. That's why Greg doesn't have a car. So he can't leave the house and he can't run away from me. Go cheap. <laughs> My option. Well, I'm a little bit nerv I'm a little bit nervous at the moment because I don't know whether it's my own anxiety, but um, I'm just concerned about the dog getting sick. You know, I'm concerned that I don't because we're not gonna be able to get it to the vet. I mean, we can get another rat. We've got some lo really lovely friends who will would drop everything and get it to the vet with us. It seemed a relapsed thing, the traditional poop talk. I know. I, well, I haven't had too much um, too much poop excitement recently. Um, had a good poop this morning. Um, you know, big one in the chamber. That was nice. Uh, <laughs> And then this weekend, I feel like I've had nothing to report poop-wise, you know? I've just been, I've been fairly regular. If, uh... Yeah, we have, we do have pet insurance. We've got a, we got good pet insurance because everyone was, um, everyone was like, right, you need to get teeth, you need to get dental pet insurance. If you're getting pet insurance, get dental pet insurance because they always have something wrong with their teeth and it's never included in the normal insurance. So we were like, right, you have dental pet insurance as well. That's the logic here in the US too. Used cars and new cars are so damn expensive now people are willing to spend thousands on car repairs. Yeah, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's it's so it's so silly. Like even a a garbage car is so expensive. Yeah. And I just and I look at it and I'm like, I'm gonna need repairs as well. So it's almost better to stay stay with the evils you know, right? And it's a sunken cost as well. I've already I've already bought bought you know like it's got a it's just had a new clutch put on it um and now at least i know that my car has a nice brand new clutch if i buy a new car or an old car a used car if i buy a used car that used car isn't gonna have a nice brand new clutch on it is it badger's gi track begins to behave itself there goes half our content at least don't worry i've got an endoscopy appointment on friday which is why we're starting a uh, stream at 2 instead of a 1 on Friday. Alright. Stream at 2 instead of 1 because I've got to have a, a nice doctor check my number 2s. Not my number 1s. Easy way to remember it. Oh. My sister's two big German shepherds. Oh. They're sweet goosey, they constantly bark! Oh, she's become a bit of a boofer. She's become a little bit of a boofer when she gets excited. She just, she just can't help herself but boof. Oh, Miss Allie, yes. 
wholesome of this wholesomeness of this channel reconnect with reality as poop is mentioned. <laughs> Leave for a few days and bad as bowels regulate. It must be the festive season. I wished for this year I wanted Santa to bring me a new colon. <laughs> He's getting prodded, I am. I am always getting prodded. I just look I just don't know why they always gotta prod me. Like I told them I've got hemorrhoids. The last dog that I saw prodded me and said that I had hemorrhoids. Why does like why does this doctor feel the need to check for hemorrhoids? Like Can we not trust that the last doctor checked and said, Yes, there are hemorrhoids? Do you think they'll have disappeared? No. I don't think they disappeared. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Cabron. It's so much cheaper to pay for pet insurance and get the bill when you go, oh, like my parents' cats had to have their teeth done. And uh, it was £1,500. Like, oh my god, I could own, like, do they do a payment plan? Could you do? <laughs> you watch Badger with the sound of she's so animated, you can tell the tone of the conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Greg, Greg was saying to me, um, for the VODs. He watches the first 10 minutes of the VOD, looks for a good expression, cuts that out and just puts it, slaps it on the thumbnail because he doesn't need to watch the whole thing. Prodding is their job security. <laughs> They're like, man, we've got to find something up here, otherwise we don't get paid this month. Hey, Peeny. Peeny. Pino. Pino, how you doing today? It's because you said weeb and I... Peeny, as... I didn't just call you a peenie, I'm sh I promise. A peenie, good morning. <laughs> yes, we're going to play a weep game. Every game is a weep game. Peenies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, damn. Right. Do I have anything else to tell you guys? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> you guys ready for a, a video game? Hang on, hang on. I think you would think I was drinking alcohol. It's definitely not tequila. Definitely no alcohol involved in my streams. Not tequila. <laughs> Who says there is no shot of whiskey? Well, I can guarantee you there's no tequila in it. Yeah, there we go. Badger is <laughs> excitable. Also, I am hyped for Ocarina of Time. Hey, Toes, I'm glad you're hyped for it. I'm pretty excited too. And thank you, an Anonymous. Thank you very much for giving us up to Peeny Weenie. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Anonymous. Oh, you got rum. What, 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 which rum? What rum? Kraken's my favorite. I'm very hyped for Ocarina of Time. So we are, our Christmas games, I uh, put them up on Discord yesterday uh, and Twitter yesterday as well. Uh, we are going to be playing Ocarina of Time as our Christmas game. Uh, that will probably be run three times a week, I should imagine. I'm looking forward to just like a nice cozy Christmas. Um, <laughs> and I don't cheat and look at walkthroughs exactly and I've never eaten pumpkins in my life. Uh, <laughs> We should be playing some uh, flight simulators. Sorry, my brain's still a bit foggy today. Uh, some flight simulator because I've got to get you all home for Christmas. I've been practicing. I've been practicing. Um, some Star Wars squadrons. So we're very, very fly heavy. And uh, the room VR got planned as well, as well as the Lego stream. But you got to keep putting points into that. That's one. That one's uh, that one's up to you. To try the 3DS version of Green. I have actually played the 3DS version. I have played it. Really enjoyed it. Don't remember much of it, which is great. Because I won't remember anything. And it's a different experience playing it on the N64. Um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I played the 3DS version. But I just... I I, I mean, I know I did. I, I I definitely have. But I don't remember it. I don't remember any of it. I All I remember is uh, the milk... The milk... The, mil <laughs> the milk makers... The mummy milkers, the um, th those really delicious looking um, milk containers. Of course, 
<laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're really my nose is going to sound really awful. The, the, the milk containers look really delicious, and I'm not talking about titties. I'm talking about actual, like, containers of milk, not... <laughs> Moving on. Okay, hello, how are you doing? Okay, do you like milk? How much tequila in this, in this cup? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> J. Edgar. Oh, well, that was quick. Puzzle investigations. I also don't know much about this game either. What am I on about? I really like milk jugs, okay? This is what I look like off stream. I like piss jugs and I like milk jugs, all right? Yes, this is a week. We like we've been playing a lot of games about bald bald people. I'll try to impress you, Rooks. I'll try to impress you later. Milk jug lover! Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you very much. <laughs> Give this summer milk jug lover to me. Thank you. You'll come back tomorrow and you'll be like, oh my goodness, Badger, I can't believe you solved all those puzzles so quickly. Nelson Tethers Cross- oh, I hate Crossroads. It has been ripped to bits, but there is something written on it, reconstructed to find out. Oh, this is cute. Oh, okay. This is- oh, this is really cute! What a nice game! This is very unstressful. For now, I suppose. Look, it's the puzzle, Ussie. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> we'll all be dead by the time. <laughs> we'll be dead by the time you've solved this. Can I s turn him around? I don't think so. Oh! I didn't didn't actually intend for that to happen, but I'm very pleased about it. I don't think I can turn him around. I wonder if it says something really rude. It looks like it's, it says a very rude word right now. Ooh. Find out. <laughs> Puzzle Ussie. Oh, yeah. Submit. Oh, wow. Taxpayer dollars spent. Am I getting paid to do this? Nice! Wow. I'm a top eight now. Yeah. That's me. I'm a top agent. A really difficult puzzle. A one stream game. Oh, that uh, would be nice. Puzzle research. This is Agent Tethers. I, I think you have the wrong number. Oh, I see. A an assignment. In the field? No, no, sir. It's it's just it's been yes, quite Ain't some she time. Good morning. Uh huh. Erasers. The foundation of democracy? Oh, absolutely, sir. I agree, sir. I'm brave. Oh, yes, the White House needs its erasers, sir. I'll be on the next plane to... Wait, where? Herbal. Herbal, thank you so much for 12 months! Thank you very much for holding... Oh, you, you... You've got piss all over you now, Herbal. Piss-colored badger. Thank you so very much for 12 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Morning, Breed. Breed, how's your day going? Are you snowy today? Is the second one as good as the first one, Chino? Or haven't you started the second one yet? Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. <laughs> is this a real place? Population, 754. This isn't a real place, right? Mm. Cold. It's cold, and not much to look at. According to the <laughs> ancient, Hey, this is a silver box. What do you mean, not much to look at? Thing going on at the local eraser factory. The whole plant is shut down. There's a weird man staring at me. A so we Hopefully call him a silver a fox. Waste of time. I like his hair. Mm -hmm. It's really um aerodynamic. Agent Tethers. Red is Scoggins a real place? It melted everything. I have no idea what oh, the I hotel hope, is. I hope I it snows before Christmas, please, Red. Talk to creepy man. I thought I felt. I thought, oh, it'd be funny if I addressed one of you in chat. Cause I just, <laughs> I wasn't sure who to pick on. <laughs> I wasn't sure which of you to pick on that wouldn't, yeah, I didn't want anyone to take it seriously. <laughs> I don't want anyone to take it seriously. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, drunk, good evening. Excuse me, I'm Nelson <laughs> Tethers with the FBI's Department of Puzzle Research. Hello? Yep. Okay. Me on the bench. <laughs> you are? I like your Bjorn. Bjorn? Yep. Nice to meet you, Mr. Bjorn. Boy, Bjorn and Brett do stop with the same sure letter. A bumpy ride, eh? Yep. Can you give me directions to the nearest hotel? I'm having a little trouble finding my way around. You'd never get there. Roads are too slick. Sir, I'm an agent of the FBI's Puzzle Research Division. It can't be <laughs> harder than the puzzles I see every day. Not so. It's really just a, a matter of I think of we're American. Projection. I'm not sure, though. Okay. On the way to the hotel, you're going to pass two traffic lights. Oh, Nelson Snowmobile is sliding along the roads. Arrange the logs. <laughs> to help Nelson bump his way to the hotel, make sure you pass the traffic lights. Yawn mentioned along the way. Drag logs from the menu. Okay, I see. Okay. Nelson must hit every stoplight on his way to the hotel. I think I understand. Stoplights. So he wants to want to, wants to make him go here. He go here, he go here, he go here. He go here. Did that work? Right? Arranging log seems right up your alley. <laughs> oh wait! No! No, 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 I nearly got it wrong. I nearly got it wrong. I'm bad. He doesn't turn at the light, you're right. Can I rearrange this? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Go here. So he goes here, he goes here, he goes up. I want him to go up, up, bit up, up, up. Yep, up, beat it, up, boot up, boop. Yes. I feel like I'm wrong. But a boop a dap. A drunk. We all got the panda one! <laughs> so many of us match! Rooks' sister has the panda one. Dark Crow has the panda one. We're all matching! Can't make mis if you make mistakes, you waste pay tax taxpayers' dollars. Ah. Oh. Like the rook. <laughs> Just like. <laughs> it doesn't seem to bother people in the real government, so why should it bother me? <laughs> And there are two solutions that are both correct. Oh, booktuber! What do they? What do they book, Brad? 
What other book I've been watching? Uh, I've been watching some book bookstagrammers. <laughs> Skullkins is not a real place. Oh, it's a shame. You look like a pop, boop, pop, boop, pop, boop, pop. I'm playing against Stauf. Look at that, wow. Stauf would be screaming right now. No hints. No wrong answers. I'm gonna get employee of the year. <laughs> Jack him in the soup. <laughs> Me and Greg keep referencing that. Is this the hotel? Um, I must have gotten lost. I thought your directions were taking me to the hotel. They did. Mmm. Uh, I'm so I, you want to look for the hotel, aren't I? Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome. We want to be looking for gum like on the benches. Oh, it's like um Professor Layton. But you can find those little hidden I'm here points. to investigate an incident at the Scoggins Eraser Factory. Do you know anything about it? No. <laughs> I like this lad. The hotel's going to close soon. Better check in if you're sticking around. Seen any suspicious people hanging around the hotel lately? Is Minnesota yeah. quite nice, Fred? Really? Can you describe them? How any to train your Gavin? And is his name Gavin? There's a stupid hat. Thanks for the tip. Yep. Goodbye. I like how itchy his beard is as well. Okay. See. Discovered a fence. Boards all chewed up something terrible. Could be the work of strays <laughs> trying to get to the fence. dumpsters back there. I don't know why I'm reporting this. I should make vlogs outside like this. Discover the fence. Let the bubble ripple. Oh, what, like like this? I need to do it. Help wanted. I'm too impatient, though. I'm too impatient. Doesn't seem to be done. Yes. About Minnesota nice, what is it? You're passive aggressive, so you like you pretend to be nice. This lady looks passive aggressive. I think I found the person that steals the erasers. I don't know, I'm just getting I'm getting the vibes. Ooh, puzzle. Well, these are interesting. Yeah, those are Skagen's gnomes. All the tourists <laughs> love them. Skagen's gnomes. I swear, I had six of them. I took a picture when I set it up, but I guess I lost it. I still have the film negative, though. A ceramic gnome has disappeared from the hotel display, but which gnome? Identify the gnome in Martha's photo negative that doesn't appear in the display. Oh, I see. There's opposites, right? So this is actually green, and this is uh, red. So we've got one, two, three, three greens and three reds. And we're missing a red. So we're looking for a red. Uh, no, we're looking for one of these. And I'm presuming they're opposites. So it's this fellow that's missing. That woman could be my relative. <laughs> is that, is that, is that a Minnesotian accent? A gnome's dolls. No, no, they got beards. They're friendly. I think it's this fellow that's missing. Why do I think it's this fellow that's missing? I think it's this fellow that's missing. Oh, yeah. He 
cost $75,000 to submit. Negative gnomes. Just so good at puzzles, man. That was correct. Well, one of your gnomes has most definitely run off. Oh my, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, I got it! Is this gum? Was that gum? I think that was gum. Do we want to talk Excuse to this fella? Excuse me, you look perplexed. Puzzles. So many puzzles. Puzzles? I might be able to help you with that. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. <laughs> He's one of those kids. He's not a wax eater. He's not a chapstick eater. Not even a glue eater. He's a rubber band eater. Is that stealth one? <laughs> hey, he escaped to Minnesota. Fred, you didn't sound like that, though, did you? I don't feel like you sounded like that. His x-ray shows tapeworms, or does it rotate the segments of those pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object? Oh, interesting. Can I swap them around? No. I see, I see. Oh, I see the rubber band! Oh, look at that! You see it? Rubber band. I think that's right. <laughs> that's about a US accent that isn't southern. I don't think I can do it, though. I would not even. Do I have a license to solve these puzzles? Oh yeah, I do. Look at that. I'm even a top agent. I spend taxpayers' dollars like they're so, nothing. Now maybe you can relax. Oh sure. Oh Indeed. oh yeah. Sure, you betcha. It's an acrostical enigma. Maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers, or not. Hello. Oh yeah. Well, hello there, Mister. Well, hello there, Mister. I'm Martha Garrett, but Martha everyone Garrett. calls me Ma. How can I help you? I'm How Nelson I Tethers. Ya? I have a reservation. Oh, yeah. You're here about the Eraser Factory, eh? Oh, yeah. We're awfully excited to have a real FBI man in our town. It's just like Ow. TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. Uh, they do sound... She doesn't sound American, though. She it. sounds... I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. Yeah, okay. I've got your room. Oh, yeah, here. okay. It does make sense oh, that Canada this and, is so you know, they're touching. The night clerk wrote down your room number in code. Hmm. Code. Mind if I Why have would they do I that? I can figure out what room I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> the security minded night clerk negotiated Nelson's room. <laughs> I'm not in chat. <laughs> Yeah, they're touching, right? That's why, uh, I guess it's the same thing with uh, Scotland, that a Scottish accent will sound like Northern England, like, you know, the more, the, the closer, it's not like you go over the, the border and they immediately sound completely different. They'll sound more similar, though. No, so. I don't know, Onionish. I don't know. Nelson's room number is in cryptic form. Help Martha see what's written so you can keep the keys. Nine. I mean, it just says nine, right? It just it just says nine. What? <laughs> is that is that it? Is that? It feels like it's too easy. Is this just the answer? Is nine? <laughs> Haley Snello. <laughs> Who would be a great puzzle agent? Hank. Oh, he's too busy being dead to be puzzle. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> good morning. I think it's just nine. I don't want to get one wrong now. I feel like I'm on a um 
I'm on a bit of a roll. What about Carl? Oh my god, Carl. No, there, there hasn't been enough sexy women for Carl to be interested yet. Maybe it's six. That's actually if that would be a really clever puzzle. If it was nine with a with a line above it. Have to quit the game. Have to quit and restart. I feel like I can't get one wrong because now, now, yeah, now I'm on a roll. I don't want to ruin scary. it. Oh yeah, <laughs> now I see. Okay then, here's your room key, FBI man. Here's your room key, Mister FBI man. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, while I have you, here, I don't think do I can do it. If I ask you a couple he questions, gave it real quick, I promise. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> it has certain accent broken my mental picture of American only having southern accents. I, d I feel like they should have committed and just given her a southern accent. How do I get to the factory from here? The oh, FBI yeah. FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh dear, our moose is <laughs> the rise. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just She's likes seen some to shit. confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of We like to double check things. Oh, of course. Well, oh, it's of easy. Course. I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. Scoggins? <laughs> just you know, goes and it's just goes. His is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. Wow. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser <laughs> right now. Yes, ma'am. That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back were bizarre puzzles. Oh yeah, well, that'll happen. Yeah, I bet she makes a nice cup of tea. I bet she gives good hugs as well. Do you know anything about the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic. I bet she makes accident, a wonderful apple huh? pie. Accident? Oh yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Is that <gasps> so? Murder? Well, not to be gossipy, but <laughs> I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. I like how she's like, ah, talk to ah not to be gossipy, but let me you gossip. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Oh, that's Bo Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Yeah, he sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself yeah, it's raccoons. and I bring not him badges. from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Do you think she's the killer? Do you think she secretly, secretly dress up, dresses up in a raccoon fur suit at night and murders people? Oh, Brent, give yourself a shout out as well. Chat. Come on, I'll put you on the spot. You want Brent? Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some Damn time. It. What? Haven't seen a stick in months. No gum? We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? Nope. Gum nope. helps me concentrate. Pick up the ABC gum. Oh! Oh, I see it. That's gross. No. 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 He let the, uh, he let the, it, what, what, the inner thoughts. The inner thoughts, um, win. Pick up the gum and chew it. Should we go upstairs to my room? Go upstairs to my room. He's gonna catch something. Does this how we get her piece. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. <laughs> Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Just like. I left a clean screwdriver. <laughs> no consequences. 
I've got a, it's a little, um... No, her bum's hanging out, isn't it? I don't know what's on this and I don't want to play it because I don't want to know what's on it. I don't want to know if it's five-year-old, um, five-year-old Badra singing. Because you know how you used to, when you were a kid, you used to just sing and I don't know what everyone else did. Um, I don't think there's a, I don't think this has actually got batteries in. Oh no, there's no batteries. Oh, what a shame. There's no batteries. Oh no. What a shame. Uh, no, it's quite big batteries actually. It's um, oh, it smells as well, and it's uh, it's crusty. You know when you get the white like battery, battery cum. <laughs> you know when batteries ooze. That's what's uh, that's what's happened in here. And it smells really bad as well. Acid, yeah. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Man, you're falling off your bed. Battery cum. That's the one, bread. <laughs> you know, it's the white stuff that leaks out of batteries. I don't know where to put it now. It can go back. The bit is over. A doggy. You could get more onto your bed so everyone could see you. Dog's almost escaped the camera. Her butt is just hanging off. Maybe get a treat. I don't, I don't have one. She, uh, she ate all the treats already. Can't a <laughs> little five-year-old bear just saying that would have been cute and wholesome. It wouldn't have been. It, w it wouldn't have been. My, I, I would have cringed. I couldn't hmm. take it. Winner undeclared in local contest. When I was a uh, when I was a kid, I used to have a uh, little tape recorder with a microphone, and I'd just sit there and sing, and give it to my mom as like a birthday present. <laughs> the fucking worst birthday present she could have gotten. <laughs> The Annabelle Grills Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over and the judge missed it. Read the four statements to help him determine the winner. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. I outmatched, outmatched by the grizzly grip. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. Pat won fair and square. Okay, we don't know who's who. Are you sure you betcha Badger has the voice of an angle, don't you know? Is that? Okay, that's actually a. Is that a Minnesotan accent? Okay, thank you. Oh shit, I didn't turn on the new voice actors. Um, if Greg's in chat, Greg, remember, remember we should do that. Didn't peg me as an Ave Maria type. Ave Maria. You reckon this guy won? <laughs> I was in the choir, but. Uh... I used to sing for my mum, apparently. I presume this is like he wasn't there for competition, you know? How long am I gonna spend in Minnesota? I woke up early to watch a Brit streamer and now I'm back in Minnesota. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe when we're playing Flight Sim, Brett, we can go over Minnesota. Minnesota all the time for you. This is a Christmas Minnesota content. I pinned a pearl like a new hat. Outmatched by the grizzly grip, Pat once fair and square. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. Okay. Right, so I think these two are the um Minnesota in the UK energy. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah, this feels a lot like Professor Layton Games, doesn't it? Mus music can't match up to Professor Layton, though. So, this lady... was outmatched. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. I only make the jokes I don't expect. People not like Minnesota. Minnesota seems so friendly here. 
There are four people, so that makes three rounds. I think I got this one. Pat won fair and square. So that suggests that she didn't win. This lady didn't win. Because she's talking about Pat, if she, like... I reckon this lady won. I reckon this is this is Flo. We don't know the ladies' names. So this lady is a loser. I'm f uh, sorry. You bet the right one. A move that's been measured twice. Yeah, the flow's loosely gripped. Okay. Thank you very much for giving us up to Haley. Haley, Snello, Snellcom, Snellcom back to the sn Snoinies. Okay, thank you so very much. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know anyone who doesn't like Minnesota other than Iowa or Wisconsin. Is that next to next to Minnesota? Snell, Snellcom. That's what's in my anti-aging cream. Blows grizzly grip with me, outmatched by the group. So she's lost. She pinned Pearl like a new hat. So she wins. She lost. She also wins. Seems like she lost as well. So we've got two losers here. I think it's this lady. I think it's this lady. So... There's gotta be... There's gotta be certain rounds. A certain number of rounds. So I think this lady went against this lady first. this lady won and then this lady went against this lady and this lady won and then this lady went against this lady and then this lady won overall Gri yeah grizzly grip won once but got beaten we don't know their names i pinned pole like a new hat Can I hear it again? Annabelle's grill lady Annabelle grill ladies arm wrestling. Beautiful. Why is she wearing ice skids? Well, you know, it's Minnesota, right? You think it's the redhead? Because they would suggest the the grizzly grip won, or uh, went did two matches. Look at that bicep. Yeah, she has got the biggest bicep. But I don't know whether that's just gonna throw us off. But then I feel like that's too obvious. X-Men, good morning. You know, actually, I don't like this puzzle. I don't think it completely makes sense. I don't think it, it leaves without a doubt who it is. I'm gonna, I will go with the redhead.
Yeah, I want to know how. Four person tournament means that there are three matches. The first two matches, two competitors were eliminated. In the final match, two winners faced off. And the winner of that was that the champion Flo the Wielder of the Grizzly Grip won one, one match and lost another. That's only possible if she won her first match, proceeded to the final and lost. The woman who beat the Grizzly Grip is the winner. Okay. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. I feel like I was on the right lines with knowing that who which two made it to the final but then i think yeah i think i should have yeah that was a tricky one I, it was a tricky one <laughs> that was a tricky one got anything else can i not take this i feel like Someone i should left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel looks clean probably of no consequence I mean, obviously it is of consequence. If you say no consequence, there obviously is consequence. Yeah, I want my gun pre-chewed. I'm a, like a Ferengi, you know? I like my food to be pre-chewed for me before I eat it. Trickier than it looked. Art finger's wonderful. What if it was a round robin and not a knockout? That's what the I was thinking. Seem nice yeah. Aside from I saw I considered as well, chase, everyone's been but like it should have been specified that it was a knockout. Plus, it looks yeah, like the chew I'm grub. I want my mom to chew my chew grub before I eat it. Remains to be it. seen if that's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Agent Tether's out. Am I supposed to be saying that? I reckon this guy is some kind of uh, like foreign spy. He just, he, he seems suspicious. You know, he keeps, he's got sassy eyes. And he didn't sound Minnesotian as well. No, he's just, he's just real sussy and he's waiting outside the hotel for me and I just... Have a look at this hmm. first. Interesting. <laughs> Out at the eraser factory. The doors to the factory are very locked. Some sort of custom built contraption is oh, locked up Morning. tighter than Fort Knox. The device seems damaged though. It seems it's to be It's about the er murder at an eraser factory. Hi, Sheriff Bog. Yeah, and the arrays are not being made, and we've got to solve the puzzles. Department of Puzzle. Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real mess here. Yes, we do. <laughs> Look at this little cutie. Who oh, is yeah. it? It's gonna be a while before we can get this factory running again. Who is this? But my job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Telly, you're in a right pickle. I am in a well, pickle. Well, I should probably ask you what some a nice questions fella. about the incident then. That's what I'd do if I was a big important FBI boy. Was an accident. It was the raccoon. But how do we know it wasn't someone in a first suit? What was this incident? That's the raccoon. Well, we don't need to be Good dramatic. Morning, what happened? There was an explosion. What? Oh yeah, a big explosion. And the foreman just never came home. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Here's what I know. <coughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, coffee came out my nose. Looks like a fur cloak looks like I'm a noble chief in Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, my dream. I drink the coffee and not inhale. It's quicker to, if I get it into my lungs, it gets into my bloodstream quicker. Am I sick? No, I'm just a little bit, <laughs> a bit depressed today. <laughs> but no, I'm just coughing because I got a coffee down, my, down the wrong, down the breathing hole instead of the eating hole. The rest is easy guard service was, uh, the rest easy guard service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. From their statements, can you determine the time of the big noise. Boom, one hour before the last shift started. That's 11. Oh, only Bernie put 
in the full eight hours. Okay, Bernie. Is it Bernie? I get the shortest shift. Three hours. Worked from six till I was relieved. Employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. So Bernie was midnight till midnight, okay. 24 hours, yeah. I get the shortest shift three hours, only Bernie put in the full eight hours. I worked till six, from six till I was relieved. Six in the morning or six in the evening? Eight, so six, so that's 14 hours accounted for. Okay, I'm gonna need to text. Let me just get my notepad up. So, uh, we've got how many hours accounted for? Six plus eight plus six is 14. Uh, eight plus six plus three equals eight plus six plus three, 17. Yeah, equals 17, so that means 17, 24 takes 17 is 3, 7. Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I, it'll take a couple of days, but I'm hoping I'm going to take it easy. I'll take it easy. That's why I want my, <laughs> my Udi taking it easy. All right, so eight plus six plus three equals 17. So Al did a seven hour, Al did a seven hour shift. So Bernie equals eight hours. Pop equals three hours. Al equals seven hours. And Iggy equals. Where did I get six from? Oh, it's not necessarily six hours, is it? Not necessarily six. Crunchin! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in, Crunch. Welcome in. Oh, okay. So it's not necessarily six. It's just I worked until from six until I was relieved. Okay. So Al is X and Iggy is N. So, we only have 12 hours actually accounted for. So it's 12 plus X plus N equals 24. One hour before the last shift started. I get the shortest shift three hours. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours, and I worked from six till I was relieved. And it was midnight to midnight. Midnight to midnight. Worked from six till I was relieved. Till I was relieved, so we know that Iggy did not work the last shift as well. Iggy not last shift. So if we can figure out what order they went in. So Iggy was not the last shift. And Bernie. So I reckon it Bernie was the shift before the last shift. Um so it would go Iggy Bernie. Okay, I'm I'm understanding. So Iggy worked from six till they were relieved. So they worked from six a.m. was Iggy. Iggy was six a.m. Started at six a.m. and worked until yeah, but only Bernie put in the four eight hours. 
So Iggy was 6 a.m. So whoever came before Iggy worked from midnight to 6 a.m. And then afterwards, Bernie worked for eight hours. So Al worked six hours. Al must have worked six hours. Must have worked six hours. Because Al was the first shift. Because otherwise it doesn't... Yeah. Al is the first shift. He works six hours. So we've got 12 plus X plus 6 equals 24. And that means... So Al worked six hours. Pop worked three. That means that Iggy must have worked six as well. That's the only way that would work. So Iggy worked six. Right. So we've got eight hours, three hours, six hours, and six hours. So Iggy worked from 6 a.m. till 12 p.m. 12 a.m.? 12 p.m. 12, 12 p.m. Which means Bernie worked eight hours from 12 until 8 p.m. Does that work? Make sense? Yeah. So it happened at 7. It happened at 7 p.m. One hour before the last shift started, which was 7 p.m. Seven. I'm not following your logic. Okay. Seven plus eight plus three plus six. That doesn't make 24 though. It would have to be six. Yeah. Pop comes in into work after. Doesn't it? Look, no, 24 is an even number. Oh, yeah, it does actually. No, you're right. Am I stupid? No, I'm right. I'm still right. <gasps> oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. 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 You're right. I, I, do you know what I did? I did 8 plus 3 equals 12. That's where I went wrong. It's 8 plus 3 equals 11. So. <laughs> Eight plus three equals a oh. uh, That changes everything. So, which one must be seven? Is it um, Iggy must work seven hours, right? So it'd be six a.m. till eleven. So it would make it six. Yeah, Iggy is seven hours. So Bernie is eight hours. So eleven a.m. Eight hours of that is till 7 p.m. so it must have happened at 6. Must have happened at 6. All right, let me take you through it if I can remember Bumbo, remember what I did. So you have to figure out which order they were in. So it's important that I worked in, from 6 until I was relieved. So the shifts all start at 12. So that will tell us that Iggy did not work the first shift because they didn't work from 12, so they worked from six. So Iggy was not the first shift. Bernie was the second to last shift because it was one hour before the last shift. So you get then Iggy working before Bernie. And with that logic, you have to know that then Pop and Al either have to be prior to Iggy one of them has to be prior to Iggy and one of them has to be after Bernie but you know that from 12 to 6 one of them has to have worked that time period and Pop has already stated that he only works for 3 hours so that doesn't fit into the 6 hours so you work out that Al who was working for 6 hours here and once you know that Al worked, from, worked for 6 hours 
Pop worked for three and Bernie worked for eight, you can figure out that Iggy then must have worked for seven because if you add them all together, you find the missing, you know, you have got to add them all together to make 24 and you find that the missing number is seven. Seven. Um, so then you figure out what order they're all in and how long they worked for. So, um, uh, Al worked at first for six hours. Iggy worked second for seven hours, which takes us to 11. And then we know that Bernie worked afterwards for eight hours, which takes him to seven. But the, the big boom... takes us to one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does take us to one. You're right. Yeah, six plus seven equals one PM. Yeah, it takes us to one. It takes us to one and then <laughs> Bernie works one until nine. And then Pop works from nine until twelve because he works for that final three hours. So we know that the boom has to have happened at eight. At eight. At eight. Eight. Has to have happened at eight. Hey, blue moves. Yeah, like logic puzzles, um, number puzzles. Perfect. Now, like I was saying, at eight. <laughs> Fluffy, good morning as well. <laughs> Just as I said, eight. And that's a picture of me there, not bread. Me. Because I'm, I'm a top agent. Very clever. <laughs> if there was an explosion I... My, th my, the thing that I fell down on was the really simple maths. Maybe they grew back. I did the, like, the stupid fucking algebra, but I didn't do, I couldn't do 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is where I fell down on, and then 7 plus 6. I did the, did the, did the hard bit, but I couldn't. <laughs> Speak it easier. Welcome into the stream as well. Oh, we had to find out when the explosion was, because one person heard it, but they were all, um, they weren't, uh, no one was very clear on what time they were working, which I think is fucking rude. They should have just told me what time their shift was. They should know. What happened to the foreman? My they probably take all my gum, Herbal. Well, we're still trying to figure that out. One day after work, Mr. Dabner just never came home. The accident was pretty bad. Oh, is there, uh, is there a body? Nope. He's just gone. No. Oh. Isaac Davner's his name, if you don't have that in your notes. We don't even know if he died in that explosion? Won't be able to find that out till we find a way into the... We're gonna find little bits of him in each eraser. What did your investigation turn up? Not much. I can't figure I out... I really like this fella. This lock. He's got a very square that's crotch, it's though. Missing a piece. I can see Not that that's a bad thing. At it. Just, you know, so just, just something I noticed. I that's why you make the big bucks, right? That's right, sir. The big bucks. Well, I don't seem to be getting a lot of answers. Listen, why don't you meet me down at the Moose Ear Diner later? Oh, Ask he's asking me out for dinner! To the case that you might be able to help me he's with. asking me out for dinner! Okay, but I really <gasps> he's erased. With you. Oh, he's fun. Clean him. We get the moves here in a bit. Oh, no. Looking at Dirt Gap CBT Gasm. What about Gapsum? Hmm. Otter, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much for five months. Thank you very much. Otter, how is your Monday going? I need to fix this door and get inside the factory. <laughs> Officer Square Crunch. He's asking you to help him with his homework. I like my little feet as well. Moose Ear Diner. Sounds very American. Oh, wow. Hip happening in Minnesota. Oh, Minnesotan. 
Min Minnesota, Miss Allie. <laughs> yeah. I hope the the sheriff really treats me to a good uh, good dinner. A Fargo. Do I know who Fargo is? Oh, I want to do the puzzle. Something wrong with your sign? Uh, I said, is there something wrong with you? A cop? I ain't got time for cops. I'm not a cop. Look, I gotta get this sign fixed before it gets dark. I don't want to be out here after dark. Is that supposed to be a moose? I mean. You guys can't see me. I story. don't actually. What do you mean by that? It's just a fuse, but I can't remember which one it is. Not with all the whispers in my head. What? Whispers? Get the fuse for me. I'm getting cold out here. The repairman has forgotten which fuse he needs to use, even though he coded them so he wouldn't forget. Select the fuse that completes the sequence. Just like this. Does anyone, does anyone else understand this? Oh, there's no dog. There's no dog in the in the cam at the moment, so don't waste your don't waste your beans on it. Easiest puzzle in the game. Is it this one? This seems pretty straightforward. The repairman. Select the fuse that completes the sequence. The one or three. What makes you think one? I don't think it's this one. This one seems like completely. Yeah, maybe a right yeah, one or three. I think three. You mean you get it? This is dumb. <laughs> Is it actually going to be four? Everyone's thinking three. What do you mean I see? The first one does look like a mushroom cloud, right? Mushroom cloud butterfly hop. Shrek. No Shreks allowed. 95%? Oh my god, we're 95% on the Lego? Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I'm very excited. Not even to December yet. Is it that it goes, it goes like this, and then it goes like this, and then it goes like that, and then like... I'm gonna go with three. Is it like a, uh, a mirror trick? Is that it? Is it is it some kind of mirror trick? Oh, it is a mirror trick. Okay. Right. <laughs> right, good to know. Good to know that it's a mirror trick. Good to know. Polo, you see it? Why you all, you guys all see it? So when you put a mirror, it, the, you, it's the reflection you get. Oh, I get it. Stop it. No. <laughs> Anyone who says, oh, I get it in chat gets banned. <laughs> mm. 
You're supposed to imagine the mirror. <laughs> we will all be dead by the time you solve this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Fuck, it will be. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's this one. No, is it? Number two. No, it's not number two. I've got something to prove. We're on a hundred percent run. I've got so I've got something to prove. So the pattern is created by. So if, if I put a mirror somewhere on this one, it would make this pattern. So I've got to figure out what. I think you need to this change pattern. your views in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Do they thank you? It's much simpler than I think. Wrong idea. It is some kind of stinky, shitty mirror puzzle, though. Mirror, remove the mirror. Once I know, I'll see it. Uh, hey. Okay. I retract my easiest puzzle in the game. <laughs> okay. Remove the mirror. Gladdles? Gl give her give her five minutes. Give her five minutes. <laughs> give her give her a moment. Give her a moment. She's just she's lubricating her throat, I'm sure. She'll come when we're at least expecting it, I'm sure. Remove the mirror. What am I removing the mirror from? <laughs> okay, no GLaDOS. It's gotta be Badger. Bad Badros. This is not trickier than it looks. 
Oh, I get it now. It's actually an anagram. Beep boop. That cake is a lie. I am GLaDOS. Did you, did you believe me? Did you? <laughs> Thank you very much, RK. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm very sorry, GLaDOS. Has decided to take a toilet break. <laughs> Spot on. I should have turned my cam off, then you wouldn't have known the difference. Welcome in! Welcome in. Upset when I get it. Remove the mirror. Look closely at the symbols. I don't know where I'm putting the mirror though. That's my thing. Am I putting the mirror here? Am I putting the mirror here? Oh! Loss. Oh, you slept it off. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear. Where was it? Is it today he's better or has he been better over the weekend? I love the chaos. <laughs> Forget the mirror. Look at one of the symbols. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking at this one. I'm looking. That's an M with a line. <laughs> Fuck that up. Ludrin, <laughs> thank you so much for two months. Thank you very much. That was a stream lag. I was definitely on time in my... I definitely was just, you know, if it sounded off time, it was stream lag. Definitely. Thank you, Ludrin. Thank you so much for two months. Thank you. Now think, what if it wasn't? We're missing the third fuse, yes. Take me through it, take me through it. We're missing the third fuse. We need four fuses. All I'm seeing is a top hat, a heart, and an M with a line through it. And then mushroom cloud, butterfly, harp, and no Shreks allowed. That's what I'm seeing. getting from can I have can I have one hint one hint go on it's so dumb and easy it's so dumb and easy use one is one are we talking roman numerals here there is a hint button but I I need I no I'm then my gum it's my gum. Doom isn't wrong. Okay. One. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. One. Two. So it should be three. Oh, the fuse of my finger.
it's like it's a mirror puzzle, but it's not a mirror puzzle. There is no mirror, but there is a mirror. But my finger's the mirror. I see it. I see it. I see it. I I see it. I see it. My finger. My finger was the mirror. My my fingers. My finger was the mirror. My finger. My finger was the mirror. Yes. Very good. Top agent didn't need any help. Not a single hint. See, each figure in the sequence is made up of a number and its mirror reflection are joined together. Left parts, you see, your finger was the mirror. Was it the smell your mum finger? Now nah, it's my thumb. Which, you know, could be used in certain circumstances. But I didn't think you'd want to be smelling it after that. <laughs> How annoyed am I? I am upset that I immediately knew it was a mirror puzzle, but I'm also upset that my finger was the mirror and that the mirror wasn't real. That's what I'm upset about. Yeah, once you see it, it can't be unseen. I'm up. I'm upset. That should do it. Hey, what do you know? This ought to keep the little buggers away. Little. What? Why didn't he well, just write the numbers? Why didn't he just write the numbers on the fuses? We'll like, is he worried about some kind of fuse sabotage that he has to make it a puzzle? Like, what's what's this? Why why did why did he do that? He's got too much time on his hands. I don't suppose you know anything about the eraser factory accident. Don't suppose I do. Why is he using a spanner as a hammer? Look. Like, it's Minnesota. They do stuff like this. Asking too many questions, Agent. What's a spanner? It's a wrench. Right? Did you know Isaac Davner? Not much. Heard he had some kind of accident. Feels bad for his wife, Glory. Such a pretty girl was their last really name hold her do you know where i can find her yes i do so where can i find her inside thank you goodbye <laughs> this is what I imagine chat like. This is <laughs> it's you guys looking at me when I couldn't work out the puzzle. It's not up to health health uh, health code. Tobacco on the counter. <laughs> smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Who do we fancy talking to? This guy who's eating? Hi there. I'm Agent Tethers with the FBI. Oh, he doesn't even stop eating for me. Sir, you seem stressed. Do you know something about the factory you'd like to let me in on? I don't know anything. Sir, it's against the law to withhold information or lie to a federal agent. <laughs> Is it? I mean, it, I, I guess so. Stuff. You're... You think he's the first suit raccoon murderer? So, what's your name? Steve. Sir, I'm here about the factory. If you've got nothing to do with I it, think it was then Steve. however you spend your time doesn't concern me. What stuff are you into? I airlift wooden gnomes out of Scoggins. 
Oh, he's the guy that stole the her gnomes. To where? Why? How? Black market trinket rings. Big money. Couldn't you just use the mail? <laughs> Lona Steve. CBT jam, CBT jam, CBT jam, CBT jam. Equella Star. Thank you so much for three months. Equella Star, now you got to poop. Poop Badger. Thank you so much. Equella Star, how's your Monday going? How's it, how's, 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 how's your weekend been? Yeah, well, what stuff are you into? Do you like dressing up as a raccoon on weekends and murdering people, Steve? Lona Steve. Imagine that being <laughs> Lona first name, Steve second name. Trains birds to transport freight. Tonight's shipment just departed, but Steve forgot the note, the quantity. Can you determine the number of gnomes? Each type of uh, bird has a certain weight limit. Each bird is shown carrying a maximum amount it can. Birds may team up on heavy loads, each carrying what he can. Freight must be balanced evenly between birds' two legs. What was the question? Oh, the, how many gnomes? Okay. Right. Now I'm helping him steal stuff. No, I'm just helping him quantify how much he's stolen. I'm, uh, you know, just I'm helping him so when he goes to court he can... Okay, so this guy can hold... All right, let's, we've got to bring up our trusty text document again. Okay, so Blue Tit can hold... Two gnome. Blue tit can hold two gnome. Uh, duck uh, can hold X amount of a gnome. The blue blue tit can hold two N. Duck can hold N X N. Um, a man walks up to a widow at a funeral and asks if he can have a word. She says, sure. He says, thanks, and leaves. <laughs> Loss. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you very much. <laughs> What's the difference between a blue jay and a blue tit? Guys. Thank you both. Look at that! You did it! You did 100%. Look at that! The crowd goes wild. You guys have finished the community challenge. We will be playing. Or oh, playing? Playing with Lego. We will be playing with Lego on probably the 28th. I think that's when I thought we were going to do it. Of December, over Christmas, we will be building our BD1 Lego set. And thank you very much to Aquella Star, Swaffle, Next Menza for finishing off. Our community challenge. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. Now I get to play with Lego. Don't see any question here. It's basically asking you how many gnomes. How many how many gnomes we got? It is the 28th. Get building. Is it actually the 28th today? Oh, dang. Next month. Next month. Another man walks up to a the widow at the funeral and asks if he can have a word. She says no. He leaves. She's been burnt once before. She's been well. <laughs> okay, thank you. You very, very much. Yeah, 28th of December, I think. That's when I thought we would do it. No, there are no absolute guarantees that it will be the 28th. But I'm pretty sure that's when I... Th that's, the, that's the working estimate of when we will be doing the Lego. It's in between Christmas and New Year's. Because when else do you build Lego? You build it after you got it on Christmas. And you build it during... The during the period between New Year's and Christmas Day. It's the best time to build Lego, right? It's when you're, you know, you're full of turkey. I hate how the music pauses when I tab out. Because now you can you can hear that I'm sitting in a text document. I feel like I should have some kind of uh, thinking music, some like countdown music while figuring out uh 
But I wish they let me put notes. That would be nice. If the, if they let me put notes on the actual thing. I have, you've already got your answer. Oh, do you bread? I look forward to it. I look forward to it. Merry or happy Christmas, either, either or. Either or, I don't mind too much. Yet another man walks up to the widow and says to her nichts. She says, Ack. that means nothing to me. Uh, what? <laughs> Doesn't that mean night? Lost, thank you very much. Thank you. I will not be streaming on Boxing Day. I won't be streaming. I'll be having, um, because Boxing Day is Sunday in the UK. And uh, we will also be having the two bank holiday days off as well. Oh, that's nothing in German. <laughs> I thought it was night. Hey, Fikren. I've been doing okay, thank you. But I will, um, we'll be uh, releasing my Christmas schedule at some point. Boxing Day, a match between the cook. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget. In America, you don't have Boxing Day, do you? So, uh, Boxing Day in the UK is the day after Christmas. We have it as a bank holiday day off. Um, it's uh no one's quite sure where the term Boxing Day came from. Um, I always think of it as you're like you're putting away all your boxes after Christmas, but I might be wrong. So the the blue jay or the blue tit can only hold two gnomes, so I think that means that there is one gnome here. I think I think that means there's one gnome. Because the duck and the blue jay. Yeah. So I reckon I reckon one gnome. Well, so, uh, there are some theories that Boxing Day uh, originated from boxing. Like a, a Boxing Day match on, um, on Boxing Day. Canada also has Boxing Day. Where does it come from from them? Or is it just same? Same. Yeah, well, we punch each other to settle holiday arguments. Can't wait to fight my sister this year. <laughs> Did I renew my puzzle license? I hope you're not solving puzzles without a valid license. Oh, no. No, officer. No, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I reckon there's one on each side. So. Uh, she's not single. She is married. She is married. Left one holds one with the duck. Mm. Mm, you're right, yeah. Ah, oh, unless that one has three gnomes in it. So I reckon it goes one. Okay, one, three, two, um, X, three. So I reckon it goes one, three, two, something, three. One. I bet. That makes sense. So, we've just got to figure out how much a duck can hold. Because if the duck is supporting, the duck would be supporting two here. The duck would also be supporting two here. So if we say the duck can carry four, can we say there are, there's four gnomes in this one? Is that is this too much of a guess just to say there's definitely there's four gnomes in this one? I feel like not. Gift wrapping day. Oh, but surely you'd be unwrapping the gifts, right? The name comes from a time when the rich used to box up gifts to give to the poor. Boxing Day was traditionally a day off for servants. It's like a day. <laughs> a day when they received special Christmas box from their masters. The servants would also go home on Boxing Day to give Christmas boxes to their families. Oh, that's sweet. That's that's nice. I'll make sure I give a Christmas box to Greg then, Fred, on that day. Mmm. -hmm. Have the day off. 
I don't give him the day off though. Did you know that the Mortal Kombat theme song is actually Scandinavian? Mm. It's a Finnish. Finish one. him! I knew that one else. I know that one. Thank you very much. Let's um. Let's go with four then. So we've got one plus three, is four plus two is far, is six. Got to keep an eye on my basic maths, guys, because I will get it wrong. Uh, fourteen plus three is seventeen plus one is eighteen. So we're gonna go with eighteen because we're saying one is in here, three obviously in here, two in here. We by logic we're saying four is in here. Is my basic maths wrong? I don't think it's wrong. Four, six, ten, fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. It's fourteen, not eighteen. It's fourteen. It's fourteen. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Oh my god. Yeah, four is in here. And then we're going three and one. Like, because these together equals ten. And then this is four. So ten plus four is fourteen, not ten plus four is eighteen. Yes, good. Everyone good? <laughs> Roger. Good morning. Right, let's go with 14. I'm going to be really sad if I get it wrong. I have a little bit more time today, so that's my... Uh... Yeah! <laughs> that is my excuse for the day. No, no, no. I'm quite happy for backseating with my basic edition. I'm quite happy with that. Another puzzle solved. Because if I, you know, fucking up on basic edition is just shameful. Pick it up. Thank you. Do we want to? Who do we want to talk to? Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, we'll talk to her then. Miss, waitress lady. This is Braid again. Lost needs to get to work and to stop <laughs> thinking of European jokes. Can I help you with that? <laughs> Thank you very much, Fred. Thank you. Thank you. Glory is distracted by the puzzle. Why is her name spelled? I, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to criticize. Yeah, you know, I'm not here to criticize, but I just feel like it's a, it's a unique spelling of the name Glory. Is distracted by the puzzle of food she is preparing to serve. Fit all the food items onto the plate in such a way that none of them overlap to get her attention. Okay. Is it strange puzzle? Bit, bit, of a, bit of an odd, odd, odd puzzle. Hostage. Right, I reckon the chicken leg and the bacon have to go next to each other because, look, it's got like a little. Yeah, it's like a weird Tetris puzzle. Right, this looks like it goes around the outside. Sausage also looks like it. Oh, oh, the sausage clicked into place. <gasps> they click into place. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I appreciate that. Oh, that overlaps. Oh, there we go. I'm glad they click into place. Oh. Around the outside, round the outside. <laughs> Put your sausages around the outside. So thank you. Thank you very much. She could be called Laurie for sure. Like Lorelei. Dun dun! Dun 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 dun. Lorelei. There you go. Delicious. Thanks. So, uh, what's good here? I don't know. It's all fine. Oh, okay. Isn't her husband What's dead? your name? Lori Davner. Oh. Uh, so, I'm Nelson. Are you feeling okay? Yes. No. I'm just thinking about my husband. That's a Lori. What's wrong with your husband, ma'am? Um, Is he okay? <laughs> Very really? similar. Well, I'm with the FBI's Department of Puzzles Research. I need to ask you a few questions. This poor woman, her husband's gone missing. And I'm like, I'm here about some puzzles. Has the factory closure affected business? 
I just yeah. want to do the puzzle. People tend <laughs> to hang around here longer now that they aren't going to work. Normally, that'd be a good thing, but I've been pretty distracted. I see that. Maybe I can help. When these three couples walked into the diner, Glory thought she knew what each would order. She was wrong! Now she's forgotten who gets what. Here's what she does recall. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. Right. Like, oh, my spouse looks like a ham? Is that what we're like? No one... Oh yes, my spouse. The one that looks like a banana split. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. The ham plate should be set down next to the banana split. Oh, they do look like... Oh, they do look like their meals. Right, okay. That man does indeed look like a banana split. <laughs> it is. You have a very nice moustache. Uh, the ham plate should be set down next to the blonde split. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. The lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. Resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. Okay. Tag yourself. I'm the guy on the left. I feel like this lady right now. So the fish eating man. Can I not just like. Can I wait a. Fish eating man sitting next to her. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. So the fish eating man could be either, the, either of these two men. Uh, it's gotta be this. Because she's going to order something resembling the fish-eating man. And this guy looks like an onion. So, onion rings, right? So one lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. And she's the only one sitting next to a man that is not her spouse. Sitting next to a man that's not your spouse. I can't believe it. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. The plan plate. The plan plan plate. Uh, should be set down next to the banana split. Okay. The plan plan plate should be sat down next to the banana split. So. What does this lady resemble? Is she the, is she the burger? Who are you? Are you the chicken? She's the chicken because she's got a, like a. Yeah, their feet. Their feet are actually touching under the. Under the table bread. She, she's stroking his little oniony legs. The what is this? the ham plate should be Oh my god, I've already fucking forgotten. I've already fucking forgotten. Uh the ham plate should be set down next to the banana split. Okay. So I think that means that these guys have to be eating the ham and the banana split. Well that's a big big banana split. That's a real grower, isn't it? That banana's a real grower. Um <laughs> And only one person is eating the thing that resembles them. I guess you could be eating ham, actually. You could be eating banana split. Huh. Only one patron resembles his or, her, his or her meal. Ham plate and the banana split have to be next to one another. Who's burger? Are you supposed to be the burger? Does this guy resemble a burger to me? I'm not sure, Doomsday. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'm not even sure. This guy's supposed to be, he's supposed to be a buffalo, okay. Is this next to, would you say? Because then I would, I would do that. That's, that's what I would, I would do. But I'm not sure if this counts as next to. Yeah, so she is she is the ham. She is the ham. 
and she eats the ham. Yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. There is one person. So, the ham plate should be set down next to the banana split. Only one patron resembles his or her meal. So, it's ham lady is ham. Ham lady's eating ham. The one lady ordered meat. A meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. And nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. So I'd say that was next to. Let me just think. Let me just think. I think this is. You would say that's not next to the hand. Because I know these are correct. These are definitely two, definitely two of those correct. Because the only other way to do it would be like that. And then no one's eating a meal that resembles one another. I'm gonna do that. Good morning, Badger. Tamaramu! Tamaramu! Happy Monday! Good morning! Good morning, thank you so much for four months, Tamaramu. How is your Monday going? Have you got your coffee yet? Yeah, so this is that this lady... This lady... Is eating the ham that looks like her. It's not next to, it's opposite. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just try this this way around. That works, correct? Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. Let me just write these down. Let me just write these down. It's really annoying it being on a different, different fucking tab. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish eating man sitting next to her. The uh, only. Yeah, this is wrong. It has to it has to be this way around. It has to be this way around. Yeah, and the buffalo burger doesn't make any sense, right? It has to be. This just has to be it. Has to be habit. It ha it, ha it has to be it. This has to be next to one another. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It has to be. Agent failed. Yeah, it was opposite. Yeah. That's sad. What about this? No, that doesn't work either. Don't understand because this is also considered. It's fine. It's fine. No, I'm not angry. <sighs> yeah, what if their spouse is 
houses aren't next to each other. Nobody ordered a meal resembling their spouse. One lady ordered a meal resembling the fish-eating man sitting next to her. That has to be correct. Because this is the only lady that is sitting next to somebody, sitting next to a man who is not her spouse. Presumably. If we are going just them sitting next to each other. How about that? Does that make sense? Banana split next to the ham. This makes sense, I think. I feel like this makes as much sense as the... Somebody does eat something that resembles them. No. Oh yeah, but he's eating something that resembles him. Yeah, banana split, banana, banana split man. Hundred and fifty one thousand dollars. Okay. Give them her, your best Minnesotian accent. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello there. Just try all of them. <laughs> Just brute force it. That wasn't so tough. Oh, hello no, there. I guess not. From Minnesota. A bit more of your time, ma'am. Sure. An accident at the eraser that just sounds like you. caused it to shut down. Do you know anything Ooh, about Oh, hello that? there! Yes, I do. What have you heard? Uh, eh? well, nothing really. I mean, just that it was an accident like everyone says. Three stars, sure. If it just, if this is the only one that we fuck up on, we stop so. The factory foreman, Isaac Davner. He was your husband? Yes. Oh. I'm so sorry. There's not much in my files about him. That's okay. He's a great man. I'm so proud of him. For? Just so proud. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go! Does she sound exactly like that, Brad? The repairman outside seems a bit odd. Anything I should know about him? Well, I think he's got a bit of a crush on me, but he's harmless. Could he have hurt your husband to get to you? <laughs> oh no. He wouldn't hurt a fly. He even avoids stepping on rocks so he won't accidentally hurt any critters living below. What? I oh, wish cute. people wouldn't tease him for that, Daryl. <laughs> I love this guy just eating his soup and watching me. Hello, gentlemen. A bit early for a lunch break, isn't it? Until the eraser factory opens again, Daryl and I have nowhere else to go. Yeah, Fuck you, Daryl. Daryl got nowhere else to go. Oh, that's great. Which one of you is Daryl? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, yeah. As soon as I get these bugs back in place. What? Why do you have bugs in a diner? You gonna help or not? This is- I am from the FBI. This is a health and safety problem. Daryl's famous insect collector- Of course Daryl collects fucking insects. Has gone able, box them back up again by stringing lines between adjoining points, keeping these rules in mind. Enclose all the bugs using the fewest number of lines to draw a box possible. A box can be any size, but it must be four-sided. Bugs of the same kind can share a box. Each green grasshopper needs three squares of territory, including the square it's on. Pink puddle paddler needs two, including the square it's on. The bugs of the same kind can share a box, so we make big box here, right? Big box. Big box for all of these. Yeah, lovely. And we give these guys big box as well. Oh. 
these guys can have this box. Have this box. That doesn't feel right, does it? Those bugs look sussy. They do look sussy. They look very sh the shifty eyes. This feels wrong. Hoppers need more. They need a three each. Oh, you're right. Okay, I've got a question. So if they're sharing a box, do they need... Do they need three each, including the square they're on? Or do they need... Do they, do they need... Can they, can they share three? You see what I mean? How many did those bugs need? Needs two, including the squares on, okay. One, two, one, two. Oh, I think this is right. Probably erase that as well. Oh, yeah, they've got to be square. You're right, they've got to be square. I'll see you in a bit, Fred. See you in a bit. Good luck. Need to have four sides. Yeah, you're right. That's fine. These have got four sides. Yeah, this looks nice. Submit. That feels right. Really quick. $75,000 well spent. Is that how much I'm getting paid for each answer as well? Oh, look at that. He did it. Yes. Now, will you answer my questions? Sure. Fire them at me. You two are employed at the factory. Would you say it's a safe place to work? Well, safe as any other place, I guess. Yeah, yeah it is, Rug. Wing is haunted. No, it isn't. You better quit nice listening to those hippies. Why do you think the new wing is haunted? When the factory expanded, we built a new wing. A bunch of locals got angry. We had to clear out part of the forest to do it. Because spirits live in the forest. Hey, Daryl, tell me about Depends those spirits. The you won't see me out in the woods after sundown. Well, me neither. But there ain't no spirits. Do you guys know what happened to the foreman? Yeah, the lobster bit him. Shut up, Daryl. What do you mean, a lobster bit him? He means Mike Lobb. Mike and Isaac didn't get along all the time. Had a little bit of a fight. That's because Isaac thought he was smarter than all of us floor guys. Well, he probably is. No, he ain't. Just because he's a college boy, don't make him smart. Harry. What do you know about the guy fixing the sign outside? Randall Scruffman. Weird guy. He thinks the trees talk to him. Yeah, Maybe they do! Sure pick the right line of work. He's going to be employed forever. Stuff always needs fixing. I think he looks extra hard for stuff to fix around here. Yeah, so he can be close to glory. She's the waitress here. Sweeter than moose milk in the morning. Do mooses make milk? <coughs> they must do. They're mammals, right? Can you drink moose milk? Can you drink it? I mean, obviously you can drink it, but do people drink it? Thanks, gentlemen. Anytime. Hello. Agent Tether, good. You're here. I imagine Listen, so. I wanted to ask you if you're brave enough to milk a moose. They are quite big. The That's a lot of milk. I got security camera records here of people leaving the factory. Good. It'd be helpful to talk with whoever left last. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I mixed up the photos so we can put them back in the go. right order. What? Why would you do that? You know how it is. No, I don't. That's evidence. 
I don't know, do they, Brent? Re <laughs> just walking through Minnesota and you just see giant moose eggs everywhere. Rearrange Sheriff Bart's photos to show the order in which the factory worked to his left. Okay. Number one. Number two. Number three, number four. All done. Yep. Yeah. I'm happy. Trivial. I'm not even going to explain myself on that one. This should clear things up. Yeah, yeah. That seems this guy's right. an idiot. Looks like the last one out was Mike Lobb. You think he might have had something to do with the accident? Probably. Why don't you head out to the ice fishing huts on Lake Spence? When he's not working, he's usually there trying to dead stick a lunker. Got it. No, wait. Do what to a what? I not only fish. solve puzzles. He's got a I gotta be in Minnesota fish. to do it, so I feel like that's worth the money. Anyway, to get there, you can take the snowmobile out to Sesame Woods. But you'll have to hoof it from there. What do you know about Glory Davner? Foreman's wife. Poor girl, she's a sweet kid. Her family has lived in this town for generations. Maybe she has something to do with the accident. That's ridiculous. It could be an insurance. Now you just leave poor Glory alone. Oh, I'm a bit sassy about poor time. Glory. Uh, it could be an insurance fraud. What was the name of the factory worker? No, can I'm you see for? that? Oh, you can't see that guy. He's uh, slurping his soup, still looking at us. Lob. Drive out to Sesame Woods, then walk the trail out to the ice fishing huts. Is there? Oh. They've got the odd Wolverine in them. What? But they're probably hibernating or migrating or the like. I better get back to it. You betcha. I do like that he's very cute, but he's not very smart. I feel like that was, that was you know, a trivial puzzle. Oh, I bet someone's... I bet someone's touched my snowmobile. <gasps> Have we got a gun? Can I shoot a gnome? It was those spirits! Oh! Are those spirits actually gnomes? The snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw... It doesn't matter. I'm on my way to question Mike Lobb at the ice fishing huts. But to get there, I have to go through Sassamy Woods. That doesn't sound dangerous at all. Okay. I don't know, I'm sassy that the repairman has touched my, touched my snowmobile. How did the other people get here? Yeah, where are their snowmobiles? That guy looks dead, doesn't he? Oh, there's some gum on the floor, though. <laughs> it's just a tent to all the stuff. ID badge. Looks like he came this way sometime before the accident. Why was Lobster, uh, Mike Lobb, out here as well. Who are you? Hello. I don't like the. I don't like his that his feet are intertwined. I don't like that. I think I found Mike Lobb. Man, late thirties. Uh, we Looks can like use them as hint today, points. Trying to solve some sort of problem. I'm gonna have a look. I just, just how sweaty those toes must be. Was Mike Love following Isaac? Craig, happy farting Monday! Happy musty Monday! 
Thank you very much, Craig. I hope you had a good weekend. Rotate the tiles to chart a path from my glob to the ice fishing hub. Beware lest the path of interest with one upon which a shadowy figure lurks. Intersect. Okay, I see. Alright. So we do not want to intersect a, a shadowy figure. One of the little gnomes. They're very cute. There we go up here, go down here. Beep bop boop, bit of boop. Ah, there we go. No. Yes. We go beep bop boop 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 Does it have to be the quickest path? No, just chart any path. Yeah. That works. No, that did work. No, it doesn't intersect. Hey, Kenzo, good morning. Do I have to just block off? Maybe I've got to block it off. My tax dollars. Give them to me. Give me your taxes. Right, so we go down, down here. Okay, let's try this. I feel like it wasn't super clear. The I didn't realize I couldn't even have a gnome anywhere near me. Aha! No puzzle's gonna stop me in my tracks. Two rums. Two Ooh, rums don't make sorry. a right. I, I I didn't mean. They tried to, 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 to take him. The lock must not. The lock on the factory door. Key. Are we going to try and warm this guy up? <gasps> Did he just die? What is this thing? We're not even concerned. I think I found something important in the hands of a dead lobster. Well, he wasn't fucking dead when we took it. I'm going to hold on to it for later. The lake with the Should ice fishing like is just past the clearing. I'm going to continue on to see if anyone there seems to have this affliction. Ugh. He just died and all we can say is, ugh, that's fucking rude. Dead man can't pay taxes, so. <gasps> this guy really gives me the. He just, he smells sussy. Found some freshly caught puzzle fish agent, not lake. doctor agent. Looks like something hey, has started before they've been cooked. I'm doing all right. 
how are you doing? He smells fishy. Mr. Scraftman. Like, look at those eyes. Boy. Yeah. No, sir. Oh, no. You look like a lost puppy. Go home, puppy. Uh, I can't leave until I get that factory back open. I won't get paid otherwise. I have a few more questions for you. Of course you do. See, look at that. Give me your alibi. Where were you on the night of the accident again? Working at the hotel. Hmm. I understand you have a, a thing for Mrs. Dabner. No, sir. Just think she's pretty. I expect you do as well. Where were you on the night of the accident? Busy. You accusing me of something? Yeah, I am. I'm just asking. It's part of my job to be thorough. I was working at the hotel. Okay, see? That was easy. Alright, so I think what happened is he and Glory work together to get rid of her husband. Claim his insurance. And then run away together. Is this your hut? It's nice. Nope. Oh. See, he's breaking well, into it. Doing, then? Fixing stuff. That's my job. Lots of stuff getting broke lately. Things get broken on these huts a lot? Everything gets broken a lot. Keeps me busy. Hmm. Looks like you're breaking into that I hut. Any ideas. I just do my job. Hmm. You had to go through the woods to get here. Didn't you see a guy freezing on a tree stump? Yep. Why didn't you help him? He didn't ask. Best not to interfere with acts of nature. So you just let him oh. die out there? Had nothing to do with it. A cold will creep right up on you. Is this a crime? Is is that that feels like a crime walking past someone who's dying in the woods? We also let him die. Yeah, but he's on the precipice, you know. It is a crime. Thanks for what your crime help. is Goodbye. it? Manslaughter? Mr. Scruffman claims he was working the night of the accident. You know, Mr. Scruffman can still hear us. Check out his story now. Mm, I'm sussy. Is that going to be another gnome? Maybe the gnome. <gasps> do you think that's turning people into gnomes? Like, do you think her husband is a gnome? Should we go to the factory or go to the... Let's just let's just take it take it where the story wants us to go. Hello again, Mr. Bjorn. Yeah. No way of knowing. Do you know Randall Scruffman? I do. He's a good man. Good stock. Despite his stock, you think he could have had anything to do with the accident at the factory? Why don't you just let things run their course? Accidents happen, Mr. Tethers. So, Randall Scruffman. Is a valuable member of this community. Oh, this and community seems like a fucking cult. To say otherwise. I uh, no, I couldn't have uh, taken the freezing guy with us. He's he's already dead. Do you think Glory Davner's capable of violence? Hmm. So that's a no. This is really feeling a bit culty, isn't it? What was that? Heard a crash and a scream coming from inside the inn. Go quicker. Going inside to see what happened. Don't record yourself. I, I won't need backup. I heard a scream. Is everything okay in here? The pipe on the fireplace. I turned my back on it for one second and boom. <gasps> okay, don't panic. I'm sure we can find a way to fix it. Kind of reminds me of, uh, what's his name? The angry guy. The angry guy from... Uh, dra uh, not Dragon Age. Pillars of Eternity. The scream was in my house. <laughs> my basement is very well soundproof. Rotate the tiles to reconstruct the wood stove's flue before the lobby fills with smoke. The stovepipe may be split, but all sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Who the fuck designed this? Who? Oh. Is this some kind of fucking horror game? Excuse me. What the heck 
was that? Hurry, it's getting away. Saw a thing. It stole some pipe. Going after... I was told this was going to be a really nice Christmassy game. Checking out. Oh my, but what about my furnace? You're all done? Yes, ma'am. I'll be calling in the FBI's gnome squad. Or the National Guard, or, or, or the someone better equipped to handle your situation. Looks like a oh, mini Santa. I see. Guess I'll be needing to call the sheriff then and let him know. Excuse me? Yeah, the sheriff told me to give yeah. you the buzz the moment you left town. Why would the sheriff assume I was leaving so soon? Oh, I couldn't say. So, will that be on a credit card, or should I just send the bill to Uncle Sam? What oh, is Sheriff Bog hiding. Sheriff, what was his name? Sheriff Bog. And that lock, it's on the outside of the door. On second thought, I better stick around, see this through. Oh, great. Hot dish all around. I think the sheriff wants me out of town. And what is the deal with that gear I found on Mike Lobb? Oh, this guy. It's, I don't like this guy. I need to see a man about a furnace pipe. Oh, Kenzo, will that be your, uh... Is that gonna be your Christmas outfit? Someone left a screwdriver. All right, Looks we've... clean. Probably... Okay, of no consequence. We've what already... was that thing? What happened? Did it try to eat your ear? If two rows are white... And... Rotations affect orientation and then Huh? Since Bow Brain Bow's brain got scrambled, all inputs end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots to redirect his stream of thought through the light of lucidity. Drag arrows from the menu to each of the highlighted spaces. Your mission is to direct Bow's thoughts from Nelson up to the light bulb. Stream of thought will move in the direction of any arrows it hits. A brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. When you think you have arranged the arrows, correctly press the limit. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it goes up here. And then we probably want it to... Oh. Okay. Want my me to cosplay based on this game? Drag and drop arrows into all empty slots to do it. Put end up in the pit of perplexity. Drag and drop the arrows into all empty slots. Brain tubes. A brain tube will cause the stream of thought to bounce off at a right angle. Okay. So we're going to go up and then a right angle, which will make us go down. But then we go back up. we right angle. Or will it go up here? It'll make it go up, not down. I feel like it's unclear which way, like saying a right angle. Like there are two right angles where it could go. Okay, it goes up. Oh, I see, I see the but I see the bridge. And goes up, and then here it'll go like that, and then it will go up here. And then presumably we want it to go that way. Up. Then like this. All the way along. Down, and then. Oh, I've done. It goes up to here, up to here, up to here, that way. And then like that. Through here, down. And that way. 
hits that. Goes this way. Up, 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 up. This way. I'm lost. Where did I go? Where did I go wrong? Goes up here. Up to this. Goes in here. Goes there. This way. Then this way. This way. That way. This way. That way. This way. That way. Oh, yeah. That's Hello? good. I've been doing really well at the maths ones, Rooks. I uh, I did 10 plus 4 equals 18. Been doing really well. Bang. Well, that was a very interesting puzzle, but... <laughs> the whispers of the moon crashed too loudly. The whispers... Why is everyone being back. whispered to? <gasps> I don't think it was the gnomes. You know, they said it was a raccoon. I reckon they are seeing raccoons as gnomes. Like, I I think the gnomes... The raccoons are actually the gnomes. What happened? I did get 100% in my non-calculator non maths paper. Rotate the titles. Right, let's try again. Down here. Have to be that bit. Kind of going with my heart with this. Maybe that's true. Right. There we go. There we go. Let's see, see, see. It goes... Let's just check the, the rules. The stovepile may be split, but all sections must rejoin on the way to the chimney. Do they all have to be joined? Something? Like, to, does every pipe have to join, join up to something? Is that what I'm hearing, or is this just kind of fine? Does it not matter? Am I just imagining this as part of the puzzle? It needs to be a closed system. Okay, only the ones that. Oh, right, 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 right. I think I understand. Something like that. Uh, have we got any openings anywhere else? I don't think we do. That looks pretty good. You see? What do you think? That looks nice. Yeah. That's nice to me. Just call me Gas Repair Man Badger. I'll fix your gassy problem anytime. Woo! This house heating system seems a bit of fish inefficient. They need to get a heat pump. Hey, Sagged, good morning. Yeah, it was there a steamy you puzzle. Your stove's all fixed. Why, thank you, Mr. Tethers. That's the end. Uh, the name of my uh, sure gas repair. Handy. Thank you. Shop is called Steamy and Weenie. Of course. You seem relatively coherent. Do people ever talk about seeing um little people in pointy hats? 
Oh, the hidden people. Yeah, <laughs> it's an old Nordic superstition. My grandfather used to tell me stories. They say they live among us in the ground, trees, rocks. But I just know the ones that live in my window. Great, you invite them to live with you. Good, good. I did finish the cast story section. I think it is it's relatively close to the beginning. It's a funny one. At least it at least it was for me. <laughs> Would let you lay pipes in my stove. Was Mr. Scruffman working here on the night of the accident? Yeah, the fence outside was a terrible mess. I think some kids were trying to rip it down or something. Oh, I think Mr. Scruffman oh, yeah, is like the gnome night. leader. If you're still looking for suspects, I'd start looking at that Bjorn fella. But you didn't hear that from me. Okay. Oh, you got your call back! Sect. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Is it all oh, fixed? Yeah. Tourists love the stories. But Bjorn and his friends take them very seriously. Oh? Oh, yeah. They don't like the decorative gnomes in my window. Okay. <gasps> Did they steal the decorative gnome? Do you re Okay, right. Theory time. Do you reckon they stole the decorative gnome in her window and then brought it to life to teach her a lesson? What do you think? Uh, he watched a couple of episodes, but he isn't, um... Well, Mr. Scruffman's alibi checks He out. hasn't been watching the Michael whole thing with me. Uh, and I just nine. saw living garden gnomes. I think I'm gonna head back to the diner and have a chat with Sheriff Bog. I'm up to, uh, season six episode, like... Oh, he's gone! He's gone! <gasps> oh, a puzzle! Wanted. Episode... Uh, three, episode two, maybe? I must say, I'm not so sure I like where Deep Space Nine is going, at the moment at least. I I feel like they are... They're, so I'm really, really obviously still enjoying it, but I think it's become so much more about the profits now. It's, uh... Uh... And, like, the weird cult that worships the par raids. I'm just not fully, I'm not fully behind, behind it, you know, I, like, I, I'm not, I'm not super interested in the weird cult, <laughs> the, yeah, it's like the Earth cult, you know, I just find any TV show that has a strange cult in it just kind of doesn't um, interest me so much, it's like, I'm so much more interested in the Dominion War, and I feel like we're getting less airtime for the Dominion War and more airtime on the strange cult that is trying to stop Cisco from I just it's just I just I'm not so interested in the profits I really really enjoyed how they integrated into the previous seasons really loved I, I really loved them I really loved the orbs and I loved how the prophets would tell certain things I really enjoyed that Cisco had to you know convince them to get rid of some of the ships in the wormhole and everything but I just it's becoming the focus rather than a really interesting kind of yeah well I'm nearly finished with it as well I'm on the last season all fixed it was a only a defective sensor oh, it's coming out of warranty oh good Good. Did they pay for the whole thing or did they just give you some money towards it? Because I know my friend's car was under warranty and they just gave him some money towards it. Yeah. Oh, I've watched uh, I've watched Voyager already. I'm not sure what I'm going to watch. I am definitely going to watch Buffy Season 4 first. And then I usually take a bit of a break in between Star Treks. Uh, but I'm kind of going backwards. So I did Voyager first, then Deep Space Nine. So I expect I'll go backwards again the varsity muskrats got after school jobs at hank's window shop but they can't skip football practice help them complete a pass without breaking any glass oh my god what is this oh my lord all right okay Alright. 
So this fella, I think, has to be the last one. Oh. we go nice oh I really enjoyed it sex I really enjoyed it it reminds me a lot of professor Layton but I think the the only thing better about professor Layton is the music and the cutscenes of professor Layton like studio Ghibli vibes right am I gonna stream puzzle agent 2 yeah I like eventually I suspect I'm probably not straight afterwards well that takes care of that one Unless, um, unless I surprise myself this week. But, yeah. The plan is to finish this one. People start calling me Captain Clever. Captain Big Brain. Where is she? Oh, those puzzle. chairs weren't here before, were they? One of them Nordic guys brought him in right after I ordered my pie. Why are there so many pie Nordic guys here? For... Hmm. Something odd about them. Had some good season one or two, but only gets good when the Zin is it Zindi arc begins. Uh, I think uh, Deep Space Nine got good after season three as well. I don't know. I enjoyed the first two seasons, but I really enjoyed it when we got into the Minion War. It kind of gave a uh, uh, a big plot line like i think voyager was really strong because there was always that big plot line of we've got to get home whereas when i went into deep space nine i felt like it was kind of missing that you know i was i was watching it i was enjoying it i was enjoying all the characters but i was kind of like um each episode didn't have a big you know thing that we were working towards uh and i felt that once we got that it really oh sect i won't you've got to catch up to season four so uh then I'll be watching season four at the same time. Yeah, the mirror puzzle was stupid, and I also I'm a bit upset that I didn't get the uh, the, the food puzzle. Didn't react too well to the final season six of D Space Nine. Yeah, it just feels uh I don't know. I'm just not so into the cult. <laughs> I'm not so into the cult stuff. I'm more interested in the Dominion War and the politics behind it. Uh, yeah, just... Oh, I do want to watch Babylon 5, and I want to watch, uh, uh, the, uh, Galactica. Battlestar Galactica at some point as well. TOS or TNG are better than Enterprise. Is that- are they newer? Well... Something spray-painted on the stack of Escher chairs and arranged them to discover a secret image. Oh, okay. Alright. I see, I see. Let's try and get them all down. So that seems to be a corner. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Why are they, why is this upside down? Let's pop that up there. That is probably upside down. Right, that looks good. Maybe? No, it doesn't really. That looks right. Yeah? See, they seem to go together. Oh, it's a banana! Moon. Moon banana. I fucked this up somehow? Like, maybe I've gotten in the wrong order. Uh -oh. There we go. Angry red banana that's vomiting a Christmas tree. 
There are rumors about a new Babylon 5 series. The author is quite active on Twitter. Ooh. Amazing politics and ethics. I've also, actually, talking about um, things that are comparable to Star Trek, I've heard good things about Andor, the Star Wars. I've heard that Andor is Deep Space Nine for Star Wars. Battle, Battlestar Galactica starts amazing but ends with a <laughs> I feel like that's a lot of TV shows, right? The someone said it was like comparable with the uh, with the politics and the you know just how good it is. Oh, it's the original series with Kirk. There's an episode in Deep Space Nine that we go back to uh, go back to Captain Kirk with the uh, triples. That image you just made—that's the symbol those large guys use. Really? Interesting. What do you guys know about Bjorn? Oh, you mean Bjorn? old hippie who spies on people out by the hotel? <laughs> He's one of those old Nordic guys who hangs out at the lodge. Brothers of Skoggins or something like Brothers that. Of Brothers Skoggins. of Skoggins. Weirdos, if you ask me. Lodge, huh? I'll check it out. That's good, though. There's some tobacco on the counter. It smells like cherry. I guess the waitress hasn't been in much of a cleaning mood lately. Mmm. Yeah, just to keep going and then have to suddenly end where they don't get picked up for a new season. It's so annoying! It's so annoying! I'd rather... I, I really wish that a lot of TV shows just ended while they were still... You know, I wish they had a clear story that they were trying to tell and they just ended when the story ended rather than being like, right, we, you know, we're getting paid to do another season. You know, and then oh my god, again, you, we've got to finish and it. Darryl. Oh shit, we've never got to see another season. Another bug game. Do you have any more bugs you need boxed? I don't. Actually, yeah, that sounds like fun. Let's box oh, up some more bugs. I don't want to box Wait, up any more seriously? bugs. I was joking. Let's get to it. Uh, Daryl's bugs are loose again. Connect the points to the box and back up. All right, it's the same. It's the same rules. Daryl and his fucking bugs. Ooh. <laughs> Dad! Good news. Everyone survived me driving today. Chad. Chad. Thank you for lucky number 13. Chad, thank you so much. Chad, how far was the drive? How far was the drive? <laughs> yeah, you must, uh, a lot of you must be coming home from... Coming home from... What am I thinking? Thanksgiving, Turkey Day. That's the word I was looking for. Turkey Day. Probably pick that up. Oh, but see, he's fucked now. Oh, just for the M MOT? Oh, you're trying to sell it! Did you pass the MOT? I think these two should go together. And then this one goes down here like that. Yes. Yeah, Daryl's really starting to bug me. <laughs> yeah, I think like this. And then I think these two goes down go down here. And then are these happy? In here? Yeah, that works! Yeah. <laughs> Just fight the passenger window not winding up immediately. And they, do they test that on the MOT? They test the passenger with the window? Oh, no problem, sec. No problem. I hope you guys are 
hope you guys are enjoying the fact that the vods are out. There's um yeah we've got a we've got a few new channels running. Uh, we've got the vods for all of the uh, uh all of all of the vods. Uh, we have we're putting out the clips on the main channel now. Uh, there's also a new channel where I'm putting out my uh, you know I I was putting out those really small uh, anime figure unboxings on Instagram. I am now putting them on YouTube as well, so if, um... I think much of this is also done by Greg. <laughs> yeah, Greg has been, uh, Greg has been instrumental in, uh, in making sure everything gets out and making sure everything gets, uh, gets edited and rendered and everything. Kenzo, good luck. You have a, you have as nice of time as you can. And I hope you find it relaxing, Kenzo. I'll see you in a minute. You have a lovely lurky turkey. Yeah, Chad! So we think that will be on the 20th, 28th of December. But don't, and there's a TM. It's a Vagitale promise with a TM that I think it will book it in on the 28th of December, putting the Lego to get together. Another puzzle solved. Thank you, Grieg. Thank you. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Oh, the Daryl! I did not realize that. Are there more bugs? Let's try to box those bugs. How again. many fucking Let's bugs has this guy got? Thank you, Rug. Thank you. Thank you for the chat love, the Greg love. And uh, do we have anything else that we've put out, Greg? Uh. The VODs, the- oh, there's a clip streamer, a clip, uh, clip YouTube channel as well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to building the Lego. I'm very excited for it. I keep seeing it in the corner of my office and I'm like, oh, I want to build it now. I want to be impatient. Oops. Let's try like that and then have this one. Yeah, this looks right. And then we can take these away. Like that. Like that. Looks a bit right. Oh yeah, the Dragon Age vault. Notice the overlay for the poles. They were really, yeah, they've broken an update, so uh, we're waiting for waiting for them to maybe be fixed. Or it was when uh, was it when Twitch updated uh, to give you more options? So the so, the program that, that I was so using. Bad. Please don't say they've got more bugs. Not more bugs. Daryl. It was when it gave you more options, it started breaking, and what it would do was crash the stream, so it just wasn't... I don't see the waitress around. Did she go somewhere? It was causing too That's many issues. Question. I ordered so hopefully it's fixed at some point, and then they'll ago. come back. 20 minutes ago. Okay, this might sound silly, but have you guys ever heard about hidden people? My cousin's neighbor saw one once. Oh, not this again. He swears they're real. So do those Nordic tree huggers, but that doesn't make it so. So, the hidden people are just a bunch of make-believe, then? Yep. Not according to my cousin's neighbor. <laughs> well, I trust this guy's cousin's neighbor. I checked up on the repairman. He was working at the hotel on the night of the accident. Alibi checked out, huh? No. In the clear. It doesn't quite check involved. out. I don't know. Considering the funky stuff that's going down at the hotel, like... That's where all the gnomes are in the the window. Do you think maybe he's a no, he's the gnome ringleader? So he, you know, he was working at the hotel, but he was actually sending out all the gnomes to cause the accident. Like, do you think the gnomes are working for him, and they committed insurance fraud for him? Chatty, <laughs> 
Have you looked into Bjorn and his friends? He seems to be an avid environmentalist. Perhaps the accident is a political statement. Nah, Bjorn's always been a major part of this community. Since even before my badge was pinning up my diapers. You wore a sheriff's badge on your diapers? This is a community that celebrates its Nordic heritage, Agent Tethers. Not one that advocates violence. <laughs> what about those gnomes that Have nearly caused a gas explosion? Hidden people. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you had me going there, Tethers. A government agent investigating elves and hippie legends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, had you going there? Sounds like you Shouldn't we tell a sheriff day. that we found that frozen lad? Start fresh tomorrow. But you haven't really done anything. <laughs> and we're no closer to getting that factory up and running. Agent Tethers, I'm not from the big city. Around here, we take our time. Keep our heads clear. As far as I can tell, everyone's heads are filled with puzzles. Puzzles are a way to keep yourself from asking questions you don't want answers to. What does that mean? It means I'll see you in the morning. Do you guys Agent remember brain Tethers. training? That everybody's grandma was doing, playing because it supposedly made your brain younger. Out oh. of curiosity, anything else you want to tell I've me? I've got to solve all the birds? puzzles. I gotta. They're smart. I once saw a black-bellied whistling duck open a car door and steal a cream cheese Danish. I saw that too. Wow. Yeah, I've seen that's happened. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't. All right, I just thought it was going to be the same. Draw lines for attached freight birds, legs, keeping in mind these rules. A mallard can carry two gnomes per leg, an owl 1.5, and a bluebird one. I'm going to write this down. I have heard that it is finishable in one stream. So we'll see how we'll see how quick I'm trucking through the puzzles. Um, mallard, uh, two gnomes. Per leg, owl, 1.5, bluebird, 1. Okay, birds may team up on heavy loads. Freight must be balanced evenly between birds' two legs. Oh. Okay, freight. Must. I am incredibly clever, you're right. So mallard can carry two gnomes per legs, an owl can carry 1.5, a bluebird can carry one. Okay, so like this. No? No. No. What am I doing? Can I just like... Can I do that? Can they share like that? Maybe? Well that definitely has to go here. An owl can carry two, well, one point five. So you are carry. I think this has to be this. I think he's got to carry both of these here. You can carry one of these. You have to carry that. I think this works. Yes. Yes. Even my mum was playing brain training. Even my mum got a a, a DS to play brain training to get her brain age down. God, I remember what I got like 47 for my brain age. It's been many years since I have played the, the I still remember the puzzles. Should we go with that? I feel right. I feel good on that. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like keeping your brain oh, active so is good. Hard. How are you doing, Steve? Hi, Steve. More birds, How's Steve? Business? Who wants to know? I'm just making conversation. More birds. Well, maybe you can help me figure something out then. It's been driving well, me crazy. That's what, you know, Steve's really taking advantage of having the FBI here. Uh, once again, Lona Steve needs your help. I just love how he's called Lona Steve. Like, 
That's his title. It's capitalized and everything. Don't forget the rules. Okay. Right, so this, this bird is now carrying three. You will have to help him carry that. Yep, very good. You can carry two, so you can carry that. Like that. This was a bit more tricky. Remember, we can't. God, get off! Get off! Get off! <laughs> no! <laughs> get off! Uh, I feel like that's the only way this can this can kind of go, unless we can somehow. No, that's no, just gonna be tangled up. Hey Arthur, good morning. Well, you've definitely got to take that. Makes sense. Does it make sense? Thank you very much, Arthur. Thank you. I'm feeling very cozy. So you got one on this, two, two, one on each. Yeah, okay. No, the rules didn't change. Ballad can carry two, an owl 1.5, a bluebird one. Every bird shown carrying something is carrying at it. Every bird shown carrying something is carrying its maximum. Does that mean it has to carry its absolute maximum? That doesn't make sense though. This makes sense. Because he carries two gnomes per leg. He's carrying 1.5 gnomes per leg. He carries one gnome per leg. And he carries one uh, 0 0.5 gnomes per leg. Gnome count should be exactly the max carrying. But there aren't enough gnomes to do that. Oh, right, right, right. I see, I see what you mean. Yeah. I think this makes sense. Blue birds can carry one. Owls can carry 0 0.5. So this owl is carrying three. I'm going to submit that. I think you're right, Arthur. I think it is a pish-posh easy answer. Uh, this one, that was my third one that I got wrong.
Right, so he's got one on each leg. He's got now one. Apparently there's only one way. Now he's got two, he's got two. He's got two. Is it everybody on this one? Well, he's taking three. Can I just not use this bird? Do all the birds have to be used? This is the only way that every bird being used is carrying its maximum load. Those ducks do look worried. <laughs> Confirm. Do I have to use this bird? Maybe not every bird. I mean, we may as well try, right? What's the rules? All right. What's to say? Who said we have to use every bird? Yeah, he's that supervised. Well, that takes care of that one. Please, How no more birds. Steve? Please, Steve. No, oh! Steve. Thank you. There's nothing you can tell me about the factory. I don't co-mingle with the factory folk. You haven't heard about anything suspicious going on, have you? Nothing more than usual. Nothing more than usual. Do you know anything about hidden people? Collectors will pay a tidy sum for a wooden one. But you don't believe in them, do you? Do I seem crazy to you? I'm not going to answer that question. Thank you. Bye, Steve. You, Steve. Be honest, as far as everyone in this, this state village down goes Steve is Bjorn is starting to look more and more suspicious I just got a tip that he holds secret meetings in a local lodge I remember seeing something about a lodge on my Scoggins map I wonder if it's the same one I want to go to the factory none of these gears fit on this door oh okay Was there something on the floor? No. I imagined it. He's resourceful, duh. The lodge. Oh, this isn't creepy. I like how they've made... They've, um... Got the windows boarded up and changed. There's some bright orange cloth caught on this sign. I wonder if Mike Love was trying to get away from this place in a hurry. It really makes me feel safe. Looks, well, they probably shouldn't have made this a puzzle then. Draw a single straight line from the red one red dot to another that will slice through every barrier blocking the window. every barrier including the um including the chains Right, this seems right. No, it doesn't.
That seems right, but I'm not sure whether this will be argued as slicing or not slicing. Because we go through this chain, we go through this board, we go through this chain, we do go through this chain, this board, this chain, this board, this chain. Thinking back. Nah, that doesn't work. Does this work? No. Yeah. Oh dear. I've lost which one it was. I'll piss. This one works as well. Right? What chain does that not slice through? Missing the tie, oh, you're already there, yeah, yeah, missing the chop chain. Yeah. That would have to be this. No. Oh fuck, which which one? What was it? I've forgotten. Where did I put it? <laughs> where did I put it where I got through all the chains? Three right. This one. Ah, oh, up like that. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, I think we got it. Let's give that one a go then. They do it, uh, but his name's Morn. It's the opposite way around this time. I saw that they had this quark mug. Like a quark's face is a mug. <gasps> you want a good look around, you might try knocking on the door. Sure, fuck. Told oh, you there was trouble. a cult. Snooping doesn't suit you, Agent Tatters. What are you doing here? I'm pretty sure I saw Glory Dabner in there. The waitress? And yeah, Dabner, I don't know if this is a children's game. This is a little bit right spooky. There a second ago. There's something about this crew that seems off to me. Agent Tethers, you're here to get the factory back open. Not to question or belittle the beliefs of the townsfolk. Hmm. What the heck is going on in there? They meet regularly and celebrate their cultural tradition. But that's their business, not yours. Time to go, Agent Tethers. Surely oh, I have jurisdiction over him. Surely I'm I'm an FBI agent, so I can tell him to fuck off. Make it an early night. Turn in, Agent Tethers. I don't want to see you out here again tonight. Yeah. I should arrest him for perverting the course of justice. And trust me, you don't want to be out here either. As long as it's a federal crime. Is, a, is murder a federal crime? Sheriff Fogg definitely isn't working with me. I'm sure I saw Glory Davner at the lodge. She's got little gnome shoes on. And now Glory Dabner's sneaking around town. I'm going to follow her. Oh, only if it crosses state lines. Where's she off to? Nelson's still got snowmobile trouble. Rearrange the log so he will track through the footprints before arriving at Glory's destination. Okay. So I've got to go through all of the footprints? Uh, Nelson must hit every footprint. Okay. Okay, pokey. Well, let's go straight down. Yeah. 
Straight down. Here to here. Should go up there. Up here, go down here. Hey Hippo! I'm doing okay, how are you doing? How's your Monday going? It's a uh, rated E for everybody. Rated E for spooky. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. E for eerie. <laughs> Extra bad for kids. <laughs> so we go down here, we go up here, we end up going up here. Okay, we go up here. Yeah. Here to here. And down. We want to be coming at it from this side. Hey, ducky. Yeah, I'm feeling real cozy today. Sit this side. In which a steak and you only get very small kinds of color, mini soda, of course. Oh, mini soda! Oh, I see! <laughs> Which U.S. state can you get a very small, very small cans of cola? Mini soda. Thank you, Otter. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't leave the appropriate gap. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. And Hippo, I'm glad you're doing good. Glad you're doing good. Are you, are you feeling suitably puzzled? I hope you're feeling suitably puzzled. I am certainly feeling puzzled. Oh, I think this does it. So we go meow, 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 meow. But we haven't done this. Oh, how annoying. Hey, doggy. We'd have to go like this. I really wish they'd let me draw. Okay, this feels right. So we go meow, meow, meow. Up here, down here, and then along. And then down, and then that feels right. The movie The Batman had a more harsh rating in the UK than the US. I wonder why. What was what, the difference in the ratings? If a badger falls in the woods, do we tell anyone? The badger will start crying and call for Greg. That's, that's what I happened last time I fell over in the woods. Yeah, I'm gonna submit. Meow. Rubix! Hello, Badger. I'm Rubik. back. Rubik! It's been a while. Thank you so much for 60 months, Rubik. How the fuck are you doing? How have you been? It's been a while since I've seen you. How are you doing? 
And you came in just to witness my victory as a top agent. That's me. That's me in the picture. Exactly the same. Glory was headed toward the factory. I gotta catch up with her. Who's she leaving food out there for? Her husband? Her... Her dead? <gasps> no, the gnomes! See, I swear to God, those gnomes are people being transformed into gnomes. a horror game <laughs> this is this a horror game where's my hat who stole my hat i am going to be turned into a gnome i'm in a spaceship oh my god the gnomes are aliens <laughs> Lost, excuse me. <laughs> Lost, thank you very much for the spooky bitty. Thank you very much, Lost. Thank you. Rated E for extraterrestrial. So the gnomes are gnomes are aliens. Is what I'm getting. <laughs> Creeping up on people. Ready should tell you what the product entails instead of say, oh yeah, no, I kind of agree. Yeah, because like, uh, I don't like, uh, I don't like movies or stuff where there's too much extra, excess gore or um, like too many, too much horror. So it would be good if I could uh, tell that. I sometimes, they, in the box they do say, uh, at least in the UK, they say gore or um, sexy things. But I feel like they're not, you know, it's some, it can be a bit ambiguous. Oh, Rubix, you've been busy with work? Is it, uh, is work a bit nice now we're getting into the, like, the festive period? I know work sometimes uh, slows down a little bit. <laughs> You know, sometimes, sometimes I'm ginger, sometimes I'm not. You know, some people say I am, some people say I'm not. Where am I? Who are you? Wait, do I know you? Why is he clutching a gnome hat? You're the foreman, Isaac Dabner. What happened to you? I want to know where they put my hat and my coat. What are those exactly, things? Rog, exactly, Rog, exactly. I should read. Oh, I think Was that real? <laughs> yes. What is it? <laughs> I see Glory didn't uh didn't exactly marry him for his uh ability to function under pressure. Draw paths to reconnect the loose ends, red to red and yellow to yellow, but be careful not to let the wires cross and a path Segment can run between any two adjoining points. Oh, I see, I see. So, like, boop, 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 boop. That is clearly not how they wanted me to do it. We go up like that, and then we go... <laughs> if work is getting easier, I'm just getting used to the workload. Oh, 
Either way, either way. As long as you're finding it more, um... Like, you're finding yourself with more time. Then it's good either way. Oh, now I'm in the creepy cult room. <gasps> see, look, did you see that picture oh, behind? What happened? I found you unconscious in the woods. Did no, you didn't. To you? Did who speak to me? I'm sussy about this guy. I think he's a liar. I think he he made me unconscious. See, I'm see? looking at a photograph of the Brotherhood. Isaac and Mike Lobb seem to be part of this group. No club called friends. the Brotherhood is not a cult. Like, if you call your club the Brotherhood, you're automatically, you, it's a, like, labeling yourself as a cult. Who do we want to talk to? Okay. Ginger gentleman? Okay, I'm some real answers now. Tell me about the that ceremony. What's going on here? What's wrong with these people? They are in deep meditation. If you open your mind and let yourself hear the whispers, there will be no mysteries. God, imagine how Lisa getting you strong arms. Some. Holding your arms up like Straight that for ages must be. If you have solutions. It's a brotherhood, not a co- Ah, oh, it's like a family get-together. Which is brothers. Creatures I keep seeing. They are not creatures. They are people older than any of us. Living in what nature Just elderly people. Us. Isaac Dabner's still alive, isn't he? The lock on the factory door. He didn't build it himself. You put it there to keep him in. Or to keep people out. Why? He has been spoken to. It is actually a great honor to have been chosen. Chosen for what? That is not for us to ask. I'm gonna need a second to question these people. Do what you must. I don't think so, Agent Tethers. You do realize I'm an FBI agent. I, I could, don't think so, like, arrest agent you Tethers. and your family. I need to get the rest of the broken pieces from the brothers to fix this. Would you like me to start looking into your taxes? I bet you haven't been paying them. Got the look of someone who doesn't pay their taxes. You see them, don't you? Listen to their words. Their riddles. Edward knows it's time to stock... The Wind Watchy River with Gricklebacks. What is this? Am I reading? Is this English? Is this? Is there something you Americans have? Gricklebacks? Drag the four clutches of fish to release the point release points, keeping in the mind these rules. Schools will swim towards the river, splitting evenly at each fork. A school that can't split evenly will be paralyzed with indecision. Marsh marmots will eat all fish who enter the turf. The marmots are either in myth pick marsh or abdominal swamp, but not in both places. Exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river, no more and no less. Yeah, this is an awful lot of rules. I haven't heard of Griffiths. <laughs> well, the FBI can sometimes, like... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking? They, they look into... They look into... Tax fraud, don't they? These they'd be paralyzed with their decision, so these three are null. What do we think of that? I just can't, I, I can't be bothered to do the maths. <laughs> I'm being lazy. Um, so this three will go up here. So we'll definitely have three. 
Um, so we'll get three more, so that'll be six. Six definitely reaching the end. We've got a 50-50 chance of whether these three will make it or not. So let's just say they don't. So it's six. And we've got a 50. There's two going up here, so that makes eight. That's a guaranteed two. It's a guaranteed four, so that makes ten. I'm not looking at my walk. I haven't looked at my walk through this entire game. So the rules are they will split at each um, each theme of Bob. Each uh, fork in the fork in the river. And there are some beavers or whatever they are in either myth, pick marsh, or abdominal swamp that will eat the eat the fishy. But they're not in both places, they're only in one. So ideally it's a 50-50 it's chance of whether the whether the fish will be eaten or not. Oh marmots, yeah. So I'm sending six down here, so six will definitely make it through. Two will definitely make it through of here. Um, and then two will definitely make it through. Four will make it through here, so we've got ten. This feels right. Could be wrong, babe. And then... Four go down here, and there's a 50% chance whether the four will get there. Yeah. Oh, put a background. Yeah, we can think about it, Seg. Like a, maybe a translucent gray, so it's just a little bit better, a little bit more. Um, a little bit more dark. Abdominal swab do, do crunches there. Oh, bread! Talking about crunches, how was your? Where did you go off to? Give me a moment. Yeah, I know you went somewhere important. How was your thing? How was the thing that you were doing that has disappeared from my mind? The thing. <laughs> the chiropractor. Yeah, crunchy. Yeah, how's your crunchy back? So, schools will swim together, swim towards the river, splitting evenly each fork. A school that can't split easily will be paralyzed by the end of the decision. Marsh marmots will eat fish who enter their turf. The marmots are either at Myth Peak Marsh or Abdominal Swamp, but not at both places. Exactly 16 fish must arrive safely at the river. No more, no less. So there's a 50% chance. So ideally we send the same number into each. So that we can... Right, so they split evenly, so we will guaranteed get four. Okay. Let me brain. So we'll guaranteed get four at the end. Either way. So we get four and that one. This is in the right place. Musical note, musical note. Come on, brain, you're so smart.
Come on, brain, think of things. Musical note. Musical <laughs> note. Rubix. Rubix, thank you! That reminded me of the Jeff Bezos song. Come on, Jeffrey, you could do it! Maybe this isn't them. Maybe I need to do this. So that we know that we're guaranteed an even number at the end. So that we're guaranteed a six. We're guaranteed a six. We're guaranteed four, which equals ten. It's just which way around these go. Ophelia, thank you! Yeah, we're cozy for solving puzzles. Ophelia, how are you doing today? Oh, Fred, my butt cheeks are tingly and the missus is crying about how she just... <laughs> oh! How she doesn't want to hurt you other than that. It went well. Oh, it sounds great. It sounds like you... <laughs> Fred. Oh, give her a hug. Give her a hug, and I hope your buff feels better as well. Had the flu over the weekend, got better fast enough to see the Chicago Symphony last night. Did you have the shits? Sorry, that's probably... <laughs> the most invasive question I can ask! It feels like it's almost 50-50 of whether this is a good idea or a bad idea. I don't think there's an optimum way of doing this. I think this is fine. Right? I don't think it makes a difference whether this goes up here or this goes down here. It doesn't feel like it makes a difference. She's cranky and in a meeting, so no works. <laughs> Just peep at her. Just peep at her. The flu sucks. Controversial opinion, I know. I per personally, I love the flu. Ooh, a screening of the Princess Bride where they play the crown. They're making a new... No, not a new Princess Bride. They're making a new Princess Diaries. I haven't seen Princess Bride yet. I'm going to submit this. There's 50% chance I'm wrong. Let's do it. Taxpayer money. Swap the six and the four, you think? What, so we guarantee... Ooh, six and the four, not six and the three. So we're what, we're guaranteed to get... But then we're not guaranteed to get an even number. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh yeah, we are actually guaranteed to get an even number, you're right. That's the four and the eight. <laughs> I'm tired, I've got a headache. <laughs> I had to give you some grace over not knowing what numbers. Yeah, sure, this is fine. Let's try this. I think you're right. Whee! Did that all by myself. Excellent. That's me with my hat. No help whatsoever. That's a piece of the machine locking the factory. Where did you get that? Where did you get that, sir? All we can do is open our minds. The language of the hidden ones is expressed in puzzles. Yeah, I think for some reason I didn't realize that two plus four is six. I I don't. I should have realized. But should be it should be able to end of every stream. You're all right. I hate needing to pee though. I don't know whether this is just, like I hate needing to pee. I hate the feeling. I need mean, obviously no one like. I mean, I bet probably some people really like needing to pee, but you know they're the. <laughs> that's a different kind of case. I just really, really hate needing to pee and having to go to pee. Ophelia, I think you'd like it. If you like puzzles, you might like me. They go start wearing a diaper. <laughs> no, but I hate going to pee as well. The probability is you'll be able to solve it. 
or skill those riddle. Behind Lars Jorgsen's, Jorgsen's mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks, five striped, five plaid, five spotters, five argyle, and five with owls playing fiddle. Being a teenager, Lars failed to pair his socks and threw, away, threw them randomly in his drawer. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can absolutely be certain he's holding at least one matching pair? Yeah, I do feel really relieved, yeah. You're right. It's like uh, cl uh, post P clarity. I do hate that mess with you. <laughs> I hate it, Rog. It goes off by itself. I just, I'm sitting anywhere and I could just hear. Arr! Have I played Mist? I haven't played Mist. I want to, though. You have to let me know how you find it. Yeah, I've heard it's really tough. My medication makes me both thirsty and needing to pee. At least your pee must be pretty cleared off, right? If you're always peeing and always drinking, your liver's probably pretty happy. Or is it your kidneys? Is it both? I think it's both. How many socks must Lars pull out before he can abs be absolutely certain he's holding at least one matching pair? Kidneys make pee. And your liver, don't your livers process it though? It's like why you, when you drink, your liver's not happy. Like alcohol. Was it 10? Blind? Oh, he's blind. Okay. Maybe just two. Is that the riddle? That the answer is just two? Because he can never be sure. Because he's blind. Is that the answer? I think two. Yeah, I... It's not a trick. Is it actually maths? Do I have to think of the maths with this? Blind Lars Yorkson's mother knitted him 25 pairs of socks. Five striped, five plaid, and five spotted. Five argyle, and five with owls playing fiddle. Being a teenager, Lars filled, failed to pair his socks. Why well, I me? Mean, that's rude. He's blind. He can't pair them. How, how many socks must Lars pull out before he can be absolutely certain he's holding at least one matching pair? Five would be the answer. Right? Because then he's at least got... No, six. Six! The answer's six. It's six. The answer's six. Because he, he would then at least be sure that he would have two. Why is it six? Because there's five different ones. Yeah, one in five plus one. So he would definitely be sure he's got two at six. I still think the answer should have been uh, again. I still think the answer should have been two. That's it. Only one more piece. Is it you? Rocks, trees, animals. Do you ever just stop and watch the birds, Mr. Tethers? Mm, a forum of crows. Congregating in rows on a line meant for clothes is an omen of woes. Yawn is photos that show a quorum of crows on his clothesline, a dark omen keeping in mind that the images may overlap. What is the minimum number of crows pictured? Minimum number of crows pictured. Okay. Minimum number of crows pictured. I wish they'd let me move them around. Oh, 
one, two, three. You have an answer. Is it one crow, Fred? One, two, three. One, two, three. This could be this crow. And this could be this crow. Three, four. Four crows. Five crows is the minimum number of crows pictured. Correct. So I'm imagining that this goes here. One, two, three crows. And then this is four crow. And then this is five crow. I'm trying to find the most efficient way for them to overlap. The most efficient way is these these two to have been overlapped. Let's start with a three in the middle. Two. And then I would say this crow was this crow. One, two. Three, four. And then we're saying these two are the same crows. Maybe. Maybe they're not the same crew. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Four. Let's say that these two are the same crows. So it's still four. These two are the sa same crows. Five. Six. Six crows. I think is the minimum number of crows. Is this what the FBI really do? <laughs> Six crews. Because these pictures... Yeah, go on, bro. Give me your answer. These pictures are the same. Is it a mirror? Four crows. Why do you think four? Oh, because this could be the... Okay. Yeah, they overlap. How did you figure it out so quickly, though? One, two. So we, I'm going to say that this is the same. I'm going to... Right, I'm, I'm working with six at the moment. One, two, three... These are the same crows. Four. I still end up with six, though. So I'm imagining that this is the same picture, so the blue bird is here. So we have one, two, three crows. The blue bird is there. Or this could be the same picture as well.
I want to write four, because four is less than six, but I don't think I can get to four. Hey, Raven. One bulb at a time. Minimum of five. I would not even think it's five. What do you have, Herbal? I think four is wrong, actually. No, oh, that's not a two. It's six. It's five on my answer of six. I would say five too. All right, let me have a look. Let me have a think. Five. Still get six. Now we want less bub. We we want less bub. I mean, I'd like more burp, but we do. We need less burp. <laughs> as much as I'd like more burp, less burp is. Alright, let's just say these are over overlapping. Why not? So we get one burp from this. One burp. One, two, three, bub. I got five burbs this time. I got five burb. I got five. So I said that this was the same picture. So we get two burb. One, two, two burb. And then this, this is the same picture. So we get three burb from this picture. Oh no, I'm. I'm wrong. One, two. Can we all stop saying bub? No, you take a shot every time we say bub. Say it twice more. Bub! How does a bub? It's like a bird, but with a B at the end. <laughs> I'm still getting, still getting six. I'd be so mad if it's five. I sh I'm going to go six. Be mad at me. I'll be mad at my stop. Hey, well, hey, everybody's heard about the bird, 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 be bird, the <laughs> word. <gasps> Seg, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to try five with you guys. Hey, you missed the time of bananas. Bananas, good morning. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> that was, no, that was, that was Brian! That was, you were right, Sex, I didn't even notice! I mean, thank you, Puzzle Solutions. Thank you, when the burnt pictures are fully over- they, I was hoping you would show me. Ha ha <laughs> Sick, thank you. <laughs> thank you, and I'm sorry, Mr. Slim Shady was it coming to the phone. I don't know why. Santa I think sometimes he just pushes his work onto uh, Brian's desk and Brian is just he's so uh, he's such a good worker, he just reads it out. I'm doing okay, bananas. I'm a little bit mad at this puzzle. I don't know. It's all of the pieces. Now I, I just, just kept getting sick. I just get every time I did it, I got six. Can I, get, can I leave now? Oh, this gear appears to be one of those assemble it yourself dealies. Can you fit the pieces together? I reckon I can fit the pieces together. Okay. Oh no, I hate it! What the fuck is it wrong? 
with this game. I hate it. What the fuck? Damn it. Where this, are you, you little these thief? These little gnomes are like dolls. Hmm. These gnomes are really giving me doll vibes. Arrange the logs to help Nelson collect all the stolen pieces. Oh, Nelson, mm -hmm. this one again. <gasps> oh, why do they keep making me do this puzzle? Right, off we go. Let's just hoover. Down. Down. Uh, up again. Oh, they make it a bit more difficult. I'm gonna go now. Boop, boop, and then we go boop. Um, we go boop, boop, boop. 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 Oh no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, can't escape dull creatures. Fucking awful. I don't know what I did to deserve all these dolls. I used to make fun of my sister for liking them, isn't it? What I get. This is my payback from her. Uh, this is, uh, these are gear pieces. So we've got to collect all the gear pieces. Are gnomes or dolls creepier? Dolls are creepier. Gnomes at least have little fun beards. They're fun little fellas, you know? It's got a lot of options and ways to go. Too many options. Mm. <laughs> kind of works in that way. Fucking does. quite figure out how to get these two blobbies. Seems like I'd have to go maybe somehow like this and then up. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, it did look promising, didn't it? I fucked it up. <laughs> I was like, nah, it's not that. My wife asked me if I had seen the dog bowl. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> David's got great comedic timing, hasn't he? He's got, he's, he's just, <laughs> thank you so much, Otter, thank you. He, he's, <laughs> Oh, David, you're such a funny fucking lad, aren't you? David's oxygen's running low. Oh, he's such a funny lad. <sighs> Maybe we go. Feel it, right? 
Are you are you okay? <laughs> Didn't know Garthy. <laughs> Cleaning my keyboard in the room. <laughs> no problem, you should see how scummy mine is. It is so gross. I know that looked promising, but it wasn't. <laughs> it just was. Did I get a new mouse yet? Oh, Braid. Oh, Braid! Look at that! My one finally, it finally just absolutely just ended it. It just it ended it all for itself. And it didn't work at all anymore. And uh, my new one came in the post over the week. I'm all, I'm all masked up. And um, my, I got it on the Black Friday sale. And uh, it is now, it's a, can you see it's got a slight curve to it? I'll show you on the background of my shiny forehead. Um, it's got a curve to it, so it means that my arthritis doesn't hurt so much using it, which is nice. But the problem is it does, it's not wired, so I do keep, uh, keep knocking it a little bit, because I'm used to it, kind of having a little bit more tension. It is a, uh, a Logitech MX Master 3S, so it's got really quiet clicks. It was the same, um, it was the same price as an MX Master 3. And I was like, well, I'll just get the S, because the S means it's super good, right? <laughs> the S means that it's better. S for silent, exactly. Yeah, it's a pro gaming master mouse. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh wait, what am I doing? Uh, like this, then down like this. Okay, this seems good. Maybe. Yeah, my arthritis doesn't hurt so much, it's nice. Nice. It's okay, Grammar, you're safe. Are you sure? Are you sure? My arthritis hurts. <laughs> Every time I click for high noticeability, it must be good for meetings. <laughs> I just be clicking all the time. Yeah, I do recommend this mouse. At least so far, it feels really nice. And it's not uh, collecting so much gamer scum on it, which is good. My other one was so gross. Poor Granny Badger. Yeah. <laughs> Try going down here. So where am I going? Here, over here, to here, up here, down here. Over here, down here. We're getting all of these. Then we're going down here. Then we're going up here. And we're getting this one. Going down here. This is really difficult. I don't think we bounce off the side. Oh yeah, you can bounce off the other sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have I ever tried to run an economical bottle of I have. I am... There was um, someone at my old job who had one and I gave it a go and it was a little bit too vertical. I felt like it was twisting my um, twisting my wrist a little bit too much and uh, like stretching the, stretching the ligaments or stretching the muscles too much. So I've kind of, I felt like this was somewhat in the middle of like a slightly, slight tippy tippy. But not too tippy. No, I feel it's hard when you're 76 years old. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my little foot warmer on my feet because my circulation isn't very good. Now I've got my ergonomical mouse because my arthritis hurts. 
I've got my um, I've got my salty snack to keep my blood pressure up. Like a true ninety six, uh, true seventy six year old playing my little puzzle games. <laughs> In my big, thick, uh, thick, cozy, <laughs> cozy blanket shirt. Mm hmm. Gotta keep my old granny brain shot. You're right. Hey, pixels. I am so fucking stuck. I just... Maybe I'm not. Maybe that was a lie. Hmm. Am I stuck? I feel like I might be stuck. Eat more salty snacks. What if I went directly to the left first? Hmm, straight. Uh, yeah. Hmm. And I'd have to go probably along here. Okay, directly to the left. So I can't go quite directly to the left because I can't put a put a, a dingle dingle hopper here. But I've got the choice of either then going here, snapping up all of these, to which I could go down. I not going down would gain me. up at the end. Oh, I can't swap this out. Uh, that's why I went like that. Like that. Mmm. Mm, then presumably we go back down. So we've hoovered. Mm, we could go down there. There we go, meow. I really wish I could draw on these. <laughs> I don't mean to keep complaining about it, but I really wish we could. We've got a lot of this, but not a lot of the... This is how roads are in Minnesota, our cars don't turn, we just... <laughs> God, bread, going out every time must be so fucking annoying. I can't even imagine. Hmm. Tricky puzzle. I think I only got two to three puzzles after this. I quit. I'm terrible at puzzles though. I don't quit. No, Simon! Simon, how close were- like, how far is this through the game? I probably could put like a canvas on top though. I'm not- I'm not smart enough to be able to do that though. Now I'm in a sticky wicket though. Mm. 
How stinky is it, Rubix? I am near the end. I thought I was. <laughs> am I doing anything right? <laughs> Put it in MS Paint. <laughs> I like to use that. I'm trying my best. That's not her. That's not her. <laughs> that doesn't give me much hope. I am trying my best. Thank you. I feel like this start is right. I think Darth was right with this. Oh, I need another one that goes this way. Just the, uh, no, you're allowed to touch them twice. We could go back up here, but then we're kind of stuck in a loop, you know? Oh god, I fucked it up. Yeah, this, this Maybe if we do that. How does that look? That looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Right? Right, right? What do you think? Yeah? Does that do it? I'm just submitting. I feel so confident. Oh. Which one did I miss? This one. This one. I don't think I've got one of those anymore, Hippo.
just be so close. <laughs> Can I get a hint? Oh, I don't want to use up any of my gum! I would love a hint, because if I could have a hint, because I just I'm worried about the hints gonna not actually tell me the ending, because I feel like I'm I'm one away. It must be so close. I wish I'd realized before I built all these test chambers with springs, force of fields, and portals that I could fool humans with just a few sticks in a field, <laughs> and humans freeze so much more effectively in fields. Oh well, science is science, I guess. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one, Pixel. Thank you. The first part is wrong. First part was all I was sure about. This part's wrong. No, they're gone. It's gone! It's all gone! It's all gone! Okay, all right, this looks okay. <laughs> Does it though? I think I get myself into a loop. Ew. Over to here, over to here, over to here, up here, down here, round here, and then we get stuck. What's the point of this one, Badge? What will we do with this one? Maybe we go down here. Woo! And then go over here. Woo! Woo! Then we just get ourselves into a loop and go back to where we started. <laughs> Woo!
feel like because this is blanket, just it's just willing me to do that. Which would will me to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna follow my heart. The heart of the logs, exactly. If anyone knows anything about logs, it's me. Nice firm log. So we get ourselves better. Because the problem is, if we go here, we end up off the map. But if we go like this, then it, it requires me to put a log here. Which means that then I can't travel down. No. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Why don't we try this first? Let's do wrong, wrong bad. Right, let's try. Uh, let's try this, shall we? How Minnesota? I can't. I love Minnesota. Minnesota is my favorite place in the world. This feels right. Does it feel right? I'm a little bit concerned because I'm not sure whether I'm going over these two. Yeah, I miss, I miss, I think I miss more than one. I think I miss two actually. Is it just the one? Is it this one? Hey, Liam, do Oh, you're having a nice day. Okay, let's have a look. We must be really close. Which two is it that I missed? I think it's these two. Think with your brain, not your heart. <laughs> Needs a stronger hint. Ignore the lower right corner. Well, then why put it there? I'm done. Ignore them. Just, we just gotta ignore that. Good. Great. Which way do I go now? I exactly which way do I go? <laughs> Pixels, thank you very much. Which way do I go now? You'll be dead before you solve this. You'll be dead. Chuck him in the soup. <laughs> Chuck him in the soup. <laughs> Thank you. 
More? Give me more hints! Here's part of the solution. Really? Like this? Mind just giving me the whole fucking solution? That would be really nice. That's the last hint! The winning arrangement will contain three right-leaning logs and four left-leaning logs in addition to the ones you produced. Oh, bad! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Look, I just needed the hints where I needed them! I needed them! Captain's log, this is trickier. Sorry, I'll get, he'll get to it. He'll get to the last sentence. I think oh, this is trick me, trick me. David could you give me a motorcycle impression please? Thank you, David. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think this is it. I think I did it. Let's try. Oh, thank God. It's over. It's over. It's over. Thank God. Fuck! I used too many hints. I'm gonna get like one st one star. Gotcha. One of those things stole the last piece I need to get into the factory. That was awful. Looks like it's headed toward the lake. Bjorn's people may try to protect it. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm getting David, back. it is time to start thinking about retirement, don't you think? <laughs> it's so, David. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. None of these gears fit on this door. Oh, what did he say I had to go? No pumpkin eating here. No, sir. No. None. I don't even know what a pumpkin is. I don't. CBT scan. Exactly, exactly. I don't, I've never seen a pumpkin in my life. Ugh. Like when people say they're carving a pumpkin for, for Halloween, I'm like, what? Chunk me in the soup. <laughs> Chunk. Chunk. <laughs> Screw you. I will keep going until they stop me or I die. We've just got kidnapped! Hey, let me out! You don't understand! The hidden people need Isaac! I don't know why, but you have to let him go with them! I'm not gonna let you people keep him locked up in a factory like fate! I'm sorry! Chuck him in the fish house! Otter, thank you very much, and arcade. Oh my god, she's con murder? This is attempted murder, ma'am. Ma'am, this is literally attempted murder. Gotta get out of here. Do I'm an FBI agent and you're trying to You're trying to kill me? <laughs> David is a treasure and if he wants to spend the rest of the day thing it. I'm here for I'm here for two children. Yeah. Like David has his quirks, right? The key, we do have a gun. The key to the skylight is inside one of these dead fish, but which, hurry up and find it. The ice fishing hut is sinking fast. Each fish has one other fish inside, except the one with the key. Counting the swallowed fish, the whiskered red fish is the least numerous kind here. All fishes dine on the ne next rung of the food chain, except tiny tan fish who eat their own kind. The key is on the line with five fish. What? 
What? I don't... Oh. I guess he's oh, going to sleep with the fishes. Very funny, David. Very funny thing you put. <laughs> Thank you. Each fish has one other fish inside, except the one with the key. Counting the swallowed fish, the re whiskered red fish is the least numerous kind here. Oh, oh thank you, thank you very much. Oh, you big sweetie, thank you so much for giving it five subs. Thank you very much. The J Mac Boxy Sheen, tasty big wrench. Welcome to the weenies. Thank you so very much, Olive. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Clay, good morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the red fish is the least numerous here. So that's because each red fish has a blue fish inside. I don't have anything to say. I'm just happy to be here. Thank you. Lost. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. I'm wondering if it's in this one. So each of these have a blue fish inside them. That makes there to be five blue fish. All fish is dying on the next rung of the food chain except tiny tan fish who eat their own kind. That's a tiny tan fish right there. I reckon it's this one. This is the entire puzzle. Yeah, we've got to... So, the key is on the line with five fish. So, it's not going to be on this line. Because this line has... They've all got blue fish inside them as well. Um, I think it's this fella. The red fish are the least numerous here. So that tells me that there are two green fish inside. So he's swallowed a fish, he's swallowed a fish. Everybody gets a fish. So there are four, four red fish. Four red fish, five green fishes. So it can't be any of the blue fish. What about the green fishes? So you've got a yellow fish. You've got a yellow fish. You've got a yellow fish and you've got a yellow fish. That makes four yellow fish. I think maybe it's in the... Yeah, five of all the others, is what I was thinking. But I can only make... I can only make it so there are three yellow fish. You know, I can only make it. Can I only make it so that there are one yellow fish inside the. Ah, oh, no, I can make it so there are five. So there's two yellow fish here. Yellow fish. Yellow fish. Yellow fish. So we've got yellow fish, green fish. It's the red fella. It's the red. Uh, one fish inside each. It's this red fella, I think. Because that still means that there's five blue fish. This fella. Yeah. A good showing, um, better than the other puzzle. I had to make up for it, right? That was a close call. Can't believe she just. Are you gonna arrest what that the woman? Heck happened here, Agent Tethers? Sheriff Bob, Glory Dabner tried to kill me. 
Come on, Tether. You sure that sweet little girl? Sheriff, I swear, she is not as I'm an FBI she agent. Should okay. you be questioning me? I'll go find her and ask her a few questions. You stay Ed out of Lee. trouble now. Good morning, Ed Lee. Yeah, let's keep his FBI badge after this one. <laughs> I like my office. It's warm in my office. It's quiet in my office. There are no maniacal gnomes or chainsaw-wielding waitresses in my office. Yeah. <sighs> Minnesota be like that. I need to get back to the lodge, fix that they, gear, the, um, and get the, the hell welcome out of here. sign is Welcome to Minnesota, home of maniacal gnomes. <laughs> Found some freshly caught fish out on the lake. Looks like something has started eating them before they've been cooked. The nose. You think the nose? I I'm really sussy that the sheriff. I think they might all be in on it. Like they, I think they're offering um. Offering that gentleman to the gnomes as some kind of sacrifice. Hello again, Daryl. And Daryl. Goodbye, Daryl. How are you doing, Steve? See you, Steve. These guys are like my my best best buddies. <laughs> Awkwardly walks back out. Oh, a piece of gum! No! Piece of gum. I want that piece of gum! That was it! Oh? There seems to be some tiny footprints in the snow around the diner. Yeah, one of those small towns with a secret. One of those small towns that are actually a cult. Children, tiny animals, wearing boots. Cats wearing shoes. Nice, Nelson. Now that's going in FBI records. And I'm still Cats recording. Cats wearing Tether's shoes. <gasps> there it is. There we go. Got it. Uh, do we fancy going to the inn? Let's go to the fa the factory. None of these gears fit. Oh, I thought I'd um. I thought I'd got the gear that fit. I thought the whole point of me no nooting around was to get it. Super sussy backer. <laughs> what does no cap mean? Closed. Hmm. The varsity muskrats are still working hard at Hank's window shop. Help them complete a pass without breaking any glass. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Need your seat. Bye. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, no cap. What does that mean? Means no lie. Why don't people just say it's the truth? Why do we have to say no cap? Why can't we just say, and that's the truth? Because it's slang. Because we're cool. <laughs> but what's this? What's I don't I don't quite get it. Like, what's the etymology behind it? Is it like people who don't wear hats only tell the truth? Oh. To confuse you. <laughs> Specifically to confuse me. Just trying to join up people that can uh, the pass can pass to each other. Oh, all 
my gold teeth are real. None are just caps. Oh. Cats are for liars. I thought it might mean, you know, like someone had something to hide so they hide it underneath their hat kind of thing. That was my thought process. Oopsie daisy. This one can pass to him. We ideally need can these pass to each other? Nope. Or exaggerate or to lie about it. To surpass, connected to ritualized insults. Huh. Top or upper limit, the expression is closely associated. Okay. Okay, I'm with you. Came from Twitch with Kappa. <laughs> no Kappa. Oh, is that why Kappa came from Pixels? Is it, is it like an off um, offshoot? Sorry, I've now got Dogie here. Research complete for today. <laughs> Welcome to explain a slang to a 76 year old here on BBC 8. BBC 8, oh my goodness, how low down would that have to be? The worst BBC show you will ever watch. As a 96 year old, I still don't understand. <laughs> it's okay, David. That's the it's... truth. No bonnet. <laughs> no bonnet. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pixels. Thank you. <laughs> I like how David just continues to surprise me. Okay, let's go like this. Up around that. I think what I'm struggling... There we go. There we go! Does that work? No. Not quite. It's these two now we can't. No bonnet. Maybe, 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 maybe they do a long pass. No. Ah! Yes. Uh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, this must be how it works. Right. Right? Yes. No. No, I nearly fucked up. No, 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 no. I nearly missed one.
don't know where the, this guy should be being connected from. Oh, bread! Josh Deceno created an emote based on a grayscale version of his face from his employee ID. Deceno has explained that he was a huge fan of Japanese mythology and named his emote Kappa after the turtle-like Japanese water spirit of the same name. Oh, that's that's surprisingly wholesome. That's <laughs> much more wholesome than I expected. But. That's, yeah, that's surprisingly wholesome. We did it. Wow, that was interesting. Mm. But I figured it out. Thank God, no more puzzles. Let's go inside. Hello! Is the golden capper even a thing anymore? I, I don't know. Not. I saw that they someone left us. Were replacing the golden capper with something, and then I saw some reason that the golden capper was only being distributed to certain people, and then I don't. I don't know. It's only a 24 hour thing. But then I, I saw, uh, I, I saw rumors. Okay. Ooh, dip. That only certain people were getting it or that some people were having to pay for it or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm 76. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a piece. Oh, no, I'm not. Why is my cap a tiny? Red, look, it's not it's not how big it is, it's what you do with it. I can't let you go. <gasps> you just don't come into our town and pretend you know how everything works. I think I'm starting to figure it out. What a sweaty gentleman. He's up to no good. What's he looking at? My crossword. I don't like crosswords, don't make me do a crossword. Why did he go and chase a cro- Oh, he just- he lo he fucking loves a crossword. Shouldn't we take his gun away from him? Should we take his gun? Are you serious? He slashed my tires. Sheriff's as crooked as they come. Looks like he's sabotaged my snowmobile. Can I take his snowmobile? Apparently not. Chef and Chef Sheriff Foot Chef Sheriff Bog has sabotaged Nelson's snowmobile. Rotate tiles to create a path from fuel tank to exhaust. They really fucking like these, don't they? They really like these puzzles. Where's the exhaust? It's there. Is it gotta be a closed system as well? Uh. Okay, I did it, but it's not a closed system. Is that gonna be a problem? Shuffle it around and make it close. How about maybe sh maybe sh the sheriff put a puzzle distraction on me? I have tried Crypt of the Necrodancer and it didn't um it didn't jam with me.
Pun intended. Didn't CBT jam with me. Get up. Isaac, I'm with the FBI, Department of Puzzle Research. I think I've got fairly good rhythm, but if I just, I don't know, there, I just couldn't worry. get a hang of I'm it. Coming in to rescue you. Nelson's three gears seem to come apart, and it looks like the pieces can be rearranged into one giant gear. Can you get it in gear to solve this puzzle? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okie pokey, right. Okie pokey, artichokey. Would they click into place if I was doing the right thing? I don't know. Ah, oh, one of them was just a spinny puzzle. It was quite an easy one. Does this feel right? No, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> Why? Why are you asking? Oh? What? What? What the fuck is happening? Like that? That looks stupid! Don't you tell me that's the answer. God. Right, right. I see what's, ha I see what's happening here. I don't like it, but I see what's happening. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Stop sticking to everything. Everything is sticking to each other. <laughs> everything is sticking to each other in ways that I do not intend it to. This is silly. This is not a very good puzzle. This is a silly puzzle. This is a silly, silly puzzle that doesn't look like a gear at all. Yeah, it's like 2D Katamari. I just like it. That was a tricky one. Your keyboard is nasty, so you should be used to sticky. It's not sticky, it's just crummy. It's gungy. It's grungy. Grungy and gunky. Isaac? He's gonna be a gnome, isn't he? Stay there. I'm coming to get you. Gungy. With a D. G U N D G Y. Gungy. Blocked. The circumference of the earth is four times that of the moon. Mm -hmm. I swear I'm not Hatched going to hurt gnome you. Egg. I just need to clear this path and we can get out of here. Nelson's path is blocked by giant scoggins. A razor cut the support to drop the obstacle, but don't drop Nelson by mistake. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Badge.
Kenzo, welcome back! Welcome back. Make sure you hydrate. Like how you have to mail these in. At least, um, at least we can use those birds from the other puzzle to mail, so it's quick. Rotate the hey, kick! I'm doing all right. If you can get this fur, uh, get this furnace hot enough, it may blast away the remaining debris, pack objects into the opening, but don't let them overlap. Oh. Okie dokie. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> These puzzles really do just solve themselves. trying to move things around so that I can see what I'm working with. Oh my god. I'm trying to grab the light. Oh, is it stuck? Okay. God, just I just just want to move things around. Yeah, we are going on a bit later. I know I'm close to the end of the uh, the end of the game, aren't I? May as well finish it. Looking good. Thought it would be nice to finish it. I'm feeling quite a uh, quite cozy. Thanksgiving was quiet for me. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. A nice time to relax. A nice time to. I don't know. Yeah, take it easy, right? I always like a quiet Christmas because it gives me time to. could just maneuver three hydraulic lifts into place he could reach the office door drag the arrows to create a command sequence be beware of the bear traps beware the bear drag and drop arrows onto the monitor to construct a command line each arrow moves all lifts at once commands execute in order from left to right don't let any lift encounter a bear trap or something Oh. I want to go up twice. One, two. And then left one. Go left. Yeah, left one up. Oh yeah, Brent, how did it go? How did it go? I do like the game done. Oh my god, it's terrifying. I don't think I did it wrong. I 
as a gnome kick as a gnome. So close to gremlin. The decision? Nope. Apparently not. Uh, didn't do it. Right. I even wanted to watch the Cheetah Girls movie. The first time I've not had dry turkey. Oh! What did you slather it with, bread? Let's go up twice. Boop, boop. So everything's sitting here. Um, yeah, I have to go left before going up. Up again. The one is here. We can start to take. Two is here, one is here, three is now here. If I just move everything to the left and move everything up. Right? Yeah! Done, I think. So. Me. What do you mean he's wrong to you? Ivy's right. I was right. Shit. Ah! So it went wrong around here. I wish. Why can I not just. Oh, I can. I can do that. Alright, so we were. We went wrong when we went. Oh. said they would stick a lift will stop moving when it reaches its goal which I feel like is 
silly because it's not its goal, you know? Okay, I think this might go. I think they need to be in a order. First and a Let's half drive. <gasps> you see his little head. <gasps> Don't close your eyes when you shoot. Mission Tethers. Heck of a job. complete. You got that factory back open, and the president is pleased as punch. Really? Well, he was never actually aware of the West Wing's eraser shortage. But rest assured, I'm sure he's happy to have not had to strike anything through. Oh, thank you, sir. Now back to work. Sir, about the factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Doesn't concern us, Tethers. Any missing persons can be handled by local law enforcement. But... You did your job. That'll be all. Oh, okay. Hey, Tethers. What's a nine-letter word for baffling? Recondite, sir. Ha. Huh. Thanks a million, Tethers. No wonder you're our star puzzle agent. Thank you, sir. There's going to be a gnome somewhere. I know there is. Every gnome for itself. It's going to be a gnome. No? No? Yeah, only five five fails. That's pretty good. I reckon it'll be a gnome at the end. That's pretty good. I enjoyed that. I feel like it was a little bit of an unsatisfying ending. Maybe six. I feel like it was five. Five and a half, maybe. Is it continued in the second one? Yeah, is it a new story in the second one, or do they just continue this story? Um, I, um... Yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit of a strange ending, but I liked it. I liked it overall. I, it just kind of feels like, you know, I would have liked to have seen someone convicted for attempted murder. <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to have seen some arrests made. You know. Thank you, Tuesday. Yeah, poor Isaac as well. Yeah. I guess. You know, we did do our job. We solved the puzzles and we got the eraser factory up and working. Yeah, arrest the gnomes. Yeah, I feel like we could have arrested the gnome. We could have arrested the wife. Arrested the repair guy, the sheriff. Just fucking arrest everybody. Everybody in Minnesota. Just absolutely everybody who lives in Minnesota has to be arrested. Sorry, bird. I want to see if there's something after the credits first. Well. Oh, yeah, this was a Telltale game, wasn't it? Tony Hot T. Sinez. Dory, before I arrest you, Brett, I'll have to solve a puzzle. Nelson Tethers, Bjorn, Martha Garrett, Bo Murphy. And Telltale still have puzzles. I'm interested to see what Telltale goes on to do, though. 
Because they're back. They're doing... When is Wolf Among Us coming out? I'll be able to get away then. Just make sure your puzzle is what is 10 plus 4, bread and all. Oh, I just went... I don't get it at all. Mmm. -hmm. Different style, right? Yeah. Like, different visual style, different gameplay style. But da da Credits. Isn't that nice? And Telltale Pets. Squiggle. Max the dog. 2010. Oh. Older than I thought it was. Nearly retro. Oh! I knew there was going to be a gnome after credit scene. Or was it just gnome noises? Are we going to get anything? Show me a gnome. Gnome me. All right. Now we just got a, we've got no noises. Still a vague 2023, so hopefully next year. But like, when next year, right? Will it be late next year or? Oh, it's snow bread. I want you to get snow for uh, Christmas though. I don't know, I know you might not want it, but I want you to have it. So you can, um, I can live vicariously through you. Just for you, yes, please, if you could. If the whole of Minnesota could get snow for Christmas just for me, that would be really good. <laughs> know me, you know, like you've been gnomed. That's a, that's a, that's a thing that people, people do, right? Just a raidy raid. I think I might head off. I've got a bit of a headache. So I might, um, might just let you out into the ever. Maybe I should play Puzzle Agent 2. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll play Puzzle Agent too. I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna see how we feel for this week. Uh, maybe we will end up playing Puzzle Agent too. We'll see how frustrated I get with Thief. <laughs> I'm going back into Thief tomorrow, feeling more positive. I feel. I feel a lot more positive. I'm gonna get. Go, you know, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna take it easy. And uh, yeah, just take it real easy, real nice. And uh, we're going to go into it calm, relaxed, zen. So when we get really frustrated, you know, we'll be in a good position. We'll be playing Thief 2 tomorrow. Hopefully, we might actually finish Thief 2 tomorrow. Probably, probably not. going to go into Thief 2 fresh and rested. Fresh and rested, and I'm going to rob some people. And I'm not going to get angry. I'm not going to get angry that Garrett's Mahusa booty can't fit through certain holes. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get angry that his big fat ass can't fit through certain doorways. I'm not gonna get angry at that. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll finish it. You know, I'll I'll speed through it. Oh yeah, yes. Uh, so if you exclamation mark vods, there should be a new vod up today. Question mark, I think. Uh on the on YouTube. YouTube. So um you may you may watch if you would like. It is it is there. So if you I know I know one of you said that you had one more Dragon Age stream that you couldn't find. It will be there eventually. <laughs> well but it'll be there, it'll go up there. Um just because some of us are well endowed, Brady, you also saying that your booty is too mahusive to fit through doorways as well. Buying trousers must be awful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daily vote uploads until we're up to date. Okay. Thank you, Greg. Thank you very much, Greg. Thank you for the daily up vote uploads. <laughs> My PC is constantly, constantly uploading. <laughs> nope, just daily uh daily vote uploads every day. And so we're up to date, um, there is, <laughs> the cake is a lie. <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, yeah, there's clips and stuff up there as well, uh, on the different YouTube channels. If you go into the channel section of the YouTube, you should be able to find the clips and other sections. Right, go get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to go well rest, get my headache to go away. I'm going to, I'll drink, I'll hydrate. 
Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Monday. Monday. Yeah. Right, I will see you guys later. Have a lovely Wednesday. Thank you very much for playing Puddle, Ag Pud Puddle. Puddle Agent with me. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow at 1. And don't forget on Friday we're starting at 2 instead of 1 because I've got a hospital appointment. Thank you for a moment. Bye.